All right. Okay. We're back. We're going to start our next game. Yeah, I'm going to move the Oh yeah. Yeah, it's on Yeah, just need it there. Awesome. All right, perfect. <clears throat> position. Dun, 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 dun. All right, everyone's visible. Move the camera slightly. How's You're good. that? Don't worry. You were good? good? Yeah. Everybody good? Somebody want to count me in? Uh, I have to open up live split again. <clears throat> and the, uh, what's on the bottom? Oh, that's chat. Okay. We're ready, right? Yeah. Alright, this is Zombie on PC, survival mode. This game has permadeath. If I die at all, it's game over and there's no opportunities to recover at all. Before we start, do we need anything open on Chrome? Any tabs open or no? No. So right now it's closed. Okay. Cool. Everybody good? Are you ready? Alright. Pray for me. No, you don't need it. You'll be fine. All right. Three, two, one, go. supposed to be Ubisoft's killer app on Wii U. It was in a lot of the marketing in the early days. <laughs> they marketed it heavy. It was yeah. a launch title, I think. A.K. Hyun in the chat? That just Oh, hey, I know him. Yeah. What's up, man? I'm pretty sure he did a task of Terminator on NES. Oh, no. So if you look no. it up, Damn. That is the one and only. That sounds miserable. I've right. watched his task like 400 million times. What a god. He is a god. What a god. <clears throat> so, what do you love most about this game? Um, I just love how dangerous it is. Like, it's, it's very, very punishing. Like, you can die pretty fast. <laughs> It's, it's, it's like not afraid, afraid to like actually kill the player early on. Akion says, I actually have this game. You should try it out sometime. You should. On the Wii U, though. That's it's very jank. It's a really interesting mechanic. If you die, your backpack is like the, the uniting sort of feature. Yeah. In normal mode. In normal mode, yeah, when you die, your character becomes a zombie and you start off again with some other nameless person. Right. And, you know, you can take up to as many survivors as you want. More than 20 that was the game. Thank you, just got Yeah, the game starts with you recovering uh, a backpack from someone who foolishly went out and got himself killed. I wonder if that croquet bat's a Shaun of the Dead reference. Yes, I think that. The uh, designs on the bat are unlockable, so we included a game in different modes. You can have a. Um, What's it called? The Union Jack? The, for the cricket bat? Yeah, it's kind of neat. We have a pinup throw and this like punk. It's like skeleton punk. Character. Fun fact that movie has officially turned 20 years old like a few days ago. I love Shaun of the Dead. I do too. I've only seen it once, but I really liked it. It's, it's, really good. it's in that weird dark humor universe that they have. Um, I love how this game. If there's one thing the game does excellently, it's uh, the atmosphere. And he has Terminator rings at all. Yeah. We played it earlier. Or Angela played I'll get that for it. It still sucks. Yes. I'm not the place down for it your still sucks. John D predicted the plague. I'm the great fun. Okay, you're free to come and go now. <clears throat> have you I'm you have played the other version, correct? The Wii U version? Yeah. yeah. That's the one that starts being running first. Okay, so I can hack uh, the main reason I'll never go back to that version is the load times are so oppressively bad. 
that a one hour run will turn into a, a two hour run. I'm not even kidding. They're that bad. It like doubles the time you're supposed to take. It's sad. The Wii, the Wii U is hanging low times. It runs, it runs at 30 FPS. This is 60, so I can never go back. The first time I got a Wii U, Angelo was there and I booted it up. And it was like, the first thing we were greeted with was like software update. And it took forever. Four. Now with the, the Wii U and the Wii Shop closing the 3DS this week, um, the modding community has been going crazy, and they've actually fixed the boot up time to the Wii U. It's, uh, it's kind of remarkable. Did you see the long necked zombie? I think we just saw it. I yeah, her neck is really long for like a second, and then it fixes. So this game has really buggy physics. How accurate would you say the gunshots are? Not accurate. <laughs> so the aim is on. No, the aim is pretty good because I'm using a mouse and keyboard. But it's all jank. So that zombie at the top of the stairs, he's scripted. I saw him coming. Hey, Akion, have you seen Displaced Gamers' uh, video about why Terminator and platforming is so bad? It's like an incredible, incredible video. It's really good. You probably already know it since you created a task, but still. <laughs> He, uh, he asked, any glitch tech in this game? Yes, there is pretty cool glitch tech. Uh, I'm going to show off one right now. So you made it back. So right now, now there's a mission, a second mission, where you have to defend the safe house from a bunch of zombies. You know, waves of zombies will attack. And you can't leave until you defeat them all. We can skip it by saving our game and quitting and then reloading the same save. When you do that, when you wake up again, for some reason, all the doors are unlocked, and you can go get the key item that you need to get to get to the next area. So you can skip this whole mission. It's the only like mission skip that you can do. Most of the game has like a lot of story flags, so you can't really skip a whole lot without breaking the game. But this one we can skip. Or grab the key card. He said he doesn't think he's seen that video before. Yeah, he like breaks down like programming wise, like why the platforming is so bad in Terminator. Huh? Oh. I'm pretty sure there's a model against that. Um. So what we're doing is we're retracing our steps from the first mission where we went to the supermarket because. All the doors are open, yes, except for these shutters that we have to get through. So it's just, I kind of have to go the long way. It's still way faster than fighting all the zombies in Mission 2. Sure. I do like these transition screens. I know we're skipping them, but... Yeah, and Wii U, you can't skip any of them. There's like one or two you can skip, but everything else is unskippable. It's infuriating. In your opinion, what is the best zombie movie? Uh, I really love... Dawn of, the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. Yes. I also love 28 Days Later. 28 Days Later. World War Z one. is good. Is it? Get out. <laughs> was Brad like good? It? Get out. <laughs> I, I never thought that was a good movie. Should I watch it? I have shown the pins about it. <laughs> is that the one where they like swarm so heavily that they make a wall and yes. climb on each other? Yeah. The game was janked. Too. That's pretty You hardcore. should watch it. It's just Tree of Usami is good. And sent his witch hunters around England to hang witches and warlocks. D had to go into hiding. Yeah, it looked like it was interesting. Bloody you know. I feel blessed to be chatting with, with the only other soul on the planet that's played the Terminator. <laughs> you guys must really hate yourselves then. Skynet. You both created Skynet. <laughs> The task created. The task became Skynet. The, the task is ancient. ancient. I'm sure it could be easily improved. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, through Skynet updates. If you improve it too much, it's going to become sentient. It's going to become self-aware. Self-aware. All this 29. <laughs> oh God. It's going to become Skynet. Oh, I love they that. They tried to pull the plug. <laughs> oh my God. That was such a weird line for Arnold to say. They tried to pull the plug. 
They didn't have him speak in a lot of movies because obviously the accents. Is Can you lower the game uh, volume? I feel like yeah. it's too loud. I see the levels like going off there. Did you game cap? To yeah, 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 yeah. It should be much lower. Um, I don't know. T2 is still classic for me. I remember when we watched it on VHS, it still held up so well. Alright, this is the scariest part. Hold on to your butts. I'm gonna take a hit here. Intentional hit. You are not supposed to be rushing in this game. Alright, here we go. I gotta grab a key item and then throw a flare to give me some time to open a gate. Got the lockpick. Oh, oh. Alright, preserve stamina and run. Oh, I took a hit. No. Damn, they really hit you. The flares are really powerful in this game. When you throw it, like all the zombies in the area will be drawn to it. Alright, we made it. Imagine your main road method of transportation is like through the sewers. Heck yeah, it says back in the day, task videos uh, had a policy where simply being boring was a criteria for rejecting runs. Yeah. Someone did a task for Terminator, but it was rejected for not being interesting enough. This actually inspired me to give the game a try. Nice. That's really cool. That's crazy. And then your video inspired me to speedrun it. So look at that. So that was like the first scary section where obviously with things like gates that need to be lockpicked and you know tons of zombies you're not supposed to rush through them all like that but i did uh there is stamina in this game but there's no meter on screen so you really have to just know how much energy you have left every time you walk you regenerate stamina so sometimes you'll see me just walking instead of running. Uh, Akion Road, I found one more glitch tech and made my own run, which apparently made it just barely interesting enough to pass. That was back on Speed Demo's archive days. Oh god, how long ago was that? A long time ago. I'm gonna heal up here. I took an extra hit that was unexpected. So how bad is the dialogue? The dialogue is good. Yeah. So we're about to meet the doctor. There's another glitch coming up. So we're gonna meet the doctor for the first time. He's the guy that we kind of come back to. He's in this like uh, heavily barricaded lab, and he's by himself underground the uh, Buck Palace. And when we meet him, he kind of gives us missions to go on and like things to retrieve for him, so he can like unlock a cure. But we're gonna skip the first meeting. I'll show you how. It saves a lot of time. We're gonna open this door, take one step inside, and then back out. And then it closes in front of us. It essentially locks us out. It's really supposed to lock us in. So now we can just move on to the next part of the mission without having to talk to him. Oh my god. And then next time we meet, it's gonna play a cutscene that should happen normally. But his dialogue will still be stuck on like the first conversation, and then they'll, they'll like cancel each other out. It gets really weird. We got a new zombie type here. There's white ones. They uh, shoot projectiles at you. They like vomit at you. And run. So I'm walking strategically in certain parts to make sure I have running speed at stamina. This is a very old trick that works on Wii U. This fire barrier, you just run over it. Skips a good deal of climbing. And hold on to your butts. This hallway is full of furniture, so... Zombies, apparently. You gotta. It's really easy for them to like block you in. I 
Yeah, it says nice. Thank you. That fire skip was one of the first videos I've seen on YouTube of Zombie U speedrunning. It skips like this whole section where you have to like climb scaffolding and like get around the fire. Music's it's intense. Remind me a little bit of doom. Terrifying. I just opened, uh, I just used the elevator outside. <laughs> you can hit the button for the elevator without actually stepping in the elevator. That's so that saves a little time. Weird. <laughs> Yeah, like the trigger for it is there. Like the button prompt comes up if you just get in that corner. So you don't have to step inside of it. Now, what was the source of the zombie pandemic in this game? Um, it's like a, it's like a biblical prophecy. Like. Oh, okay. It's a little different. There's like a philosopher who like predicted that this would happen due to like mankind's, you know, hubris and things like that. You can find newspapers where people speculate like where it came from. The doctor is infected, but he's like injecting himself to keep himself stable. See, he's telling me to find a book that I just got him. <laughs> We gotta open this door so we can get out quicker to the elevators. Steven, do you have this game as well? I do. I got this game on the Wii U when it was like five dollars, eight dollars, something really cheap. Cause it wasn't like the bargain bin. Right, it's not. It's good. good. <laughs> Amazing. I have it as well. I haven't opened it yet. It's not considered good or desirable. No. No. I think it's really interesting though, and there is a lot of redeemable qualities to it. I think. More if, so on Wii U, because it actually made use of the gamepad. Yeah, if it were really polished, I feel like it would be really, really good. Right. They had a lot of money for marketing, but unfortunately they needed more time to make it better. And Ubisoft is famous for, like, dropping prices, like, incredibly after. So it becomes a bargain bin. Mario Rabbits. <clears throat> yeah. Five dollar game, and while it's a very good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which cheapens their games and makes people not want to pay, like, yeah. the price. Yeah, yeah. Double-edged sword. I'm happy to see games discounted fast, especially digital titles, but... I know, we don't get games not that, a good are, impression either. that are reasonably priced. As down. far as, like, survival horror games go on a Nintendo console that are original and not remakes, this is pretty cool. It's pretty uh, unique. Think of it a world one of these days. <clears throat> but very hard. You know, you're just gonna die a lot. They should make a zombie survival game in Korea. Like, set in Korea. They love zombie films. They do. Right? I wonder why it's, no one's done it yet. I mean, this is obviously set in UK, right? So. This is set in UK. Alright, a little bit of a scary section coming up. So we're going to the um, Brickling Flats. Those are apartments for you Americans. I didn't get that from the word flats. <laughs> this is a joke. This is going to scratch. So in your opinion, are the Resident Evil games like the best zombie games? The OG ones? Yeah, they're really good. But they're also like science fiction. You have like mutated spiders and right. giant sharks. Right. This is more... Nah, this has science fiction elements too. I think you kind of have to almost. The viral yeah. pandemic. Yeah. It, it plays things realistically, but... It takes a lot of license too. There's a lot of weird, weird, magical stuff that happens. I think we're also forgetting one of the best zombie apocalypse games is The Last of Us. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, part, and part two. Part one and two. Well, too long. No. Can't reach out. But no. Oh, uh, so uh, to be honest, I kind of like the aesthetic of the Nest Terminator. Really? So you like the non-existing music, the green slime and drab colors like the, everywhere? <laughs> the drab colors work if it's a future setting, but they could have designed the sprites to be, or the background to be a little bit more interesting to look at. See, the background music has to do some dark, um, um, ambient industrial stuff. 
which of course a bit of suboptimal on an Epic console, but I don't dislike it on principle. I get I that. mean I, I like that you appreciate it, honestly. Like every every game has something redeemable about really it. Good. Uh, wow. Okay. It's pretty scary, right? I mean I get what they were maybe trying to do, but I wish they put more effort into the music on Terminator. Yeah. Journey to Silius. Yes, yeah. play Journey to Silius. I mean, Sunsoft, they used the DCPM channel to make, like, extra bass line. The NES triangle wave sounds so bad. Like, for bass sounds? Also, the NES Terminator music loops way too soon. Like, if they had done something more interesting with it... Exactly, yeah. It's, it's just so monotonous. Yeah, it's monotonous. <sighs> There's a SNES Terminator, right? Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch on NES and Super Nintendo as well. I'm it's yeah, pretty, minimalistic. Yeah. It's almost, I mean, minimalist music, technically, like yeah. which repeats over and over and over again. But with minimalism, it very there's variation to it eventually, like Philip Glass. So it doesn't get like too monotonous. Yeah, like, so, over, so, over so your ear over. is kind of interested in it. And right. the original Terminator music is it's like just, that. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Close, close, close. Yeah, and I agree. Yeah, he said not every game needs a super melodic soundtrack. Totally. Right, no, yeah, no, obviously. Like ambience. It, it's like ambient music. That would be really good. Alright, we did. Has anyone played They Are Billions? Uh, so, Joel, I have on PC. It takes a really good computer. It can be annoying and extremely hard. Yeah, he, it's like a like isometric... Protect your city. Zombies are coming in. Mm. Um, it's it's very hard though, and actually, again, takes a really good computer to run it, even though it's a couple years old now. <sighs> All right, that's Joel, I didn't know you were into PC gaming. So, if we're gonna uh, consider like parasitic things and stuff like that, my favorite. Zombie game is probably The Last of Us, like the original Last of Us. Yeah, it's so good. Last, Last of Us Part Two might even be better. I have a bottle <laughs> I can throw at you. That's glass. Just I think the gameplay, if if you excise the story, which I know you don't like about Last of Us Part Two, the the gameplay is <laughs> Last of Us incredible. Part Two has better gameplay than one. Yeah. One's gameplay, especially if you really like the PS3 version, is very janky. Yeah. But true. what they were able to do with the PS3 is remarkable when you look at. I know. What they did. It was just insane. Same with Uncharted 2. Right. PS3. Right. Uncharted 4 is incredible as well. Uh, I played an, on Xbox with a mouse and keyboard. It makes sense, Joel. I am a huge RTS guy. I don't like PC gaming. I, oh, I do like PC gaming. Um, RTS, I mean, my favorite RTS game is always going to be StarCraft, but like, for... For that game, I can only picture it. I mean, you said you play with mouse and keyboard. Halo Wars. I can't I picture. Joel is a Halo Wars person. Are you a Halo Wars person, Joel? <laughs> I think we talked about it before. He's, He's a Halo Wars, Wars stand. He's a Halo Wars. Halo Wars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cortana, like on something. Oh god. <laughs> Shout out to the Paramount Plus Halo show. Ugh. I like it. It's Ugh. not great. You know what show you should watch? The new Fallout show. It's very good. I heard it's about very it. It's good. on Amazon Prime. Right? Yes, it's very good. And I'm a huge Fallout nerd, and I love I it. I like Fallout too. I heard it was good. That's great. I'm glad someone's doing a good adaptation of a video game like The Last of Us. The la no, The Last of Us. The last show, show is, is very really good. good. I'm I'm skeptical about season two for I I don't like the story beats in two. Joel says he's a huge Halo Wars two fan. Level sixty two. Uh, you know life. <laughs> Jesus. That's a big I match. respect that though. Yeah. So is Halo Wars your favorite RTS game? I don't know. Part two, the only thing I don't like, literally the only thing I don't like, part two is the story. I love the music. I love the. I think the graphics are great. The gameplay is good. The gameplay is incredible. But I hate the story, and that's why I played that series. <laughs> the story is so good. Shut Adam. up! It's so, it's so lazy. It's not. Do a safety <laughs> save. Oh, you sure don't want to run the whole game without saving? <laughs> If, but the thing is, I have to react. If I know I'm about to die, ah. I, can, I can quit out. Joel confirms the new Full Out show is good. We saw the first two episodes. It's really good. I was really happy about that. You should watch it. The, I, don't, yeah. I don't consistently follow shows anymore, but the two I am right now are X-Men 97 and Full Out. They're, they're very good. Which, by the way, Joel, if you haven't seen it, watch X-Men 97. It is extremely good. Uh, oh, really? 
His favorite RTS game is Star Trek Armada 2, or Total Annihilation. Have you played... I know Total Annihilation Kingdoms, the old PS, uh, PC game. I don't remember a lot of people playing Armada. I, I like it, not for what it is, but I'm also like a Star Trek whore for games. <sighs> yeah, StarCraft 2 is also very good. Okay. I remember when... Right Dwayne's here, there's a red zombie that can one-shot me. So I'm gonna try to be careful here. That thing? Yeah. The one with the red aura, he can hit you once and you die. Is this almost like kind of like the witch in Left 4 Dead 2? Yeah, Left 4 Dead? Much. How did we forget Left 4 Dead? I mean, to be fair, Left 4 Dead is a very, very uh, good series Get away series from me. Too. Get away from me. Okay. Left 4 Dead and Dead Rising. The problem with Dead Rising is it kind of got a little quick. Why is he... Oh my god, why is he right next to me? Joel said, I just saw the last X-Men... Oh yeah, the last episode is rough. I won't say anything, but you should watch this. Okay. What happened there? The zombie is just bad placement, bad luck. Okay. I like the animation of carrying the backpack over. In yeah, the when you go into like water, your water, he yeah, carries it. It's cool. But it means you can't use your gun. Yeah. Which, I mean, realistically, Which is really scary. makes sense, I guess. What you're prioritizing. So I, I put some C4 down and I had to wait for the fuse to run out. So I just ran back and pushed all the zombies to make sure they don't they don't hit me. Yeah, that that's a really crazy section because I'm just throwing off one flare and I'm running past everybody. If you miss your flare throw, it can bounce and roll into the water and and it'll disappear. And then you die. We're gonna meet up with the Ravens of D. They're a secret society. And our prepper character that's taking care of us and doesn't like that. He has a really good line that he said before where he's like, the Ravens couldn't organize a, an orgy in a brothel. Oh god. Alright, we got med packs. Did you play uh, the re-release of House of the Dead from 23? Wait, I got House of the Dead remastered on Switch. Um, I mean, if you like House of the Dead, it's the same thing. They didn't do much with it, and the graphics look rough. That's why people were upset about that re-release. <laughs> Joel, I saw that coming. when I was in Japan last month, the coolest thing to see was Typing of the Dead. It was a full arcade game with two split keyboards. We could play like that rendition. Go, 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 it was really go, go, go. good. Go. Lock picking mini games. Oh my god. Okay, good luck there. You have a very limited time to pick that lock before the flare runs out. Alright, hold on to your butts. This is. This is a scary zone. What are you armed with? Just a shotgun? I have a double barrel shotgun. I am gonna be blind. Oh my god. Blind to your fucking hubris. Alright, I invented this tech. I purposely kneecap that zombie there so that it starts crawling on the stairs. And if he's crawling on the stairs, it blocks everybody else so that they can't come after me. Nice. Isn't that brilliant? Alright, here we go. What are you, Five, four, three, seven. What are you scanning with? Uh, you have like a scanner that's supposed to be like the Wii, Wii U gamepad. That's kind of clever. And you scan information. So, so I just scan for a code that's different on every gameplay, on every file. So that's why you have to scan it separately. Now, is was this game developed with the Wii U first in mind and then PC? or? Yeah, it was a Wii U title originally. Okay. Uh, Alright, just doing some menu clips. So I have to kill all the enemies here to start the cutscene, so I'm gonna try to focus on killing everyone else. Was <clears throat> the Wii U the gamepad your like, item inventory management? Yeah, yes. basically. It's like a scanner. It does a lot of things. Yeah. It's very unique. It's like looking in a backpack while you're holding it. Alright, flare. Watch this. Flare. 
Zombies are gonna come off that roof. Wait a second. Throw a grenade. I should kill everybody, and then Sanja is gonna snipe the last one for me. So we should be. Oh, there's one more. Yes. Nice. That was okay. So how much left? Huh? How much left? We're about... 40% in? So it's a decent... Yeah, it's, it's a decent bad. chunk of a game. Yeah, it's not bad. What's the normal play time for it? Oh god, no! Uh, we go by in-game time, but typically like an hour, ten minutes. Okay. The helicopter gets destroyed by a group of crows. Mario teaches typing, but with zombies. Yeah, it really was. It was really cool to see. Come on, get away from me. Go get your brother or your sister. Go, 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 go. They do bust down doors, so if you close a regular wooden door on them, they won't bust through it. Can you barricade a door? Or you can barricade. I, I used a barricade previously in the flat section. I don't know if you saw. Uh, I closed the door and put a barricade on. Just to buy me enough time. So here we're kind of deviating from the path. The game wants us to go back to the safe house to talk with the uh, prepper. But we're just going to move on to the next part of the game. You technically don't need to go back yet. The story flags uh, don't prevent us from going. We grab this flare here. We have to do a fetch quest at the end where you collect seven letters scattered everywhere in like areas you've been to. So some of the letters that are in my way, I'm gonna get now. So that was one. There's another code here that's split into two sections, so I'm gonna use my scanner to figure out what that code is. Nine four. Four six. Nine four four six. That was a four? Huh. So weird. That's also like a code generated randomly every play. It's control. generated randomly when you start a new save file. Technically you can play ahead and then you'll know the codes that are coming. Mm -hmm. Like if I save my game, play all the way till the end, I can get all the codes beforehand. Well, that's technically cheating, I think. You know, you're kind of playing I mean, ahead. Yeah. Kind of want to try this game out on Wii U now. I don't like doing that. Plus, like, it doesn't really help you get ahead because the story flags don't let you progress. I have it on open copy. Um, but I'm also mounting my Wii U now because the, the store closed this week. So ah. I'm putting Pretendo and stuff on it. Not really. I was joking. Oh, I'm clearly not doing anything. Especially the illegal. Someone let down traps for the infected. There's a field of mines here, so you have to watch your stuff. Star Wars Dark Forces puts mines in places that you would not expect, and then you're just walking and die immediately. That's they are brutal. I love that. Alright. Honestly, I think, aren't the mines the strong force in the No, there's no? No, there's Please. Because, like, when I was, like, when I would shoot on Dark Forces 2, I would kill all the bosses like that, just with a little mine thrower. Mm. That or like the Sith, like force power. Please, come in, come in. Who's this fuck? So, the prepper, normally if you were to go back and talk with him, the power goes out in the safe house. So he says, you gotta get more petrol from my friend, Vikram. So he sends you to this gas station to go get petrol. He's like the last survivor standing, but he's like going crazy. He acts very strangely. He tells us that his uh, his wife is sick, and if we get him medicine from the nursery, then he'll give us a guess. So then we go on a dangerous mission to the school. I'm coming. Now, not for speed. The good boy. Help your mother. Be quick. She needs those antibiotics. Uh, don't forget your key. Jules says it's trial and error with Dark Forces. Yes, can relate. 
Or just don't play the game because it's terrible. Figured it out eventually. Once I got through the first like four levels, I was like, I understand this game now. Yeah. 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 Don't hit me. I do remember popping into PS1. I was like eight or nine. And I was like, what the fuck is this? It was rough. The worst version. The PS1 version, yeah. And then uh, my dad, I think the following year or two, gifted me Dark Forces 2 and Mysteries of the Sith on PC, and it was I had so much fun with that. Yeah, a lot of people. Countless hours on Windows 98 um, and those copies of the game. <laughs> All right, we're going to the nursery famous section. This uh, portion I'm going to play up next was in the demo that you can download off the eShop. Really? That was a whole demo. It was this whole level. I'm going to load one more shot into my double barrel. And then once I use it, I'm done with the shotgun. We're going to move on to something else. I'm gonna do a quick kill on this nurse zombie coming up. There's like a boss coming up. I'm gonna show you how to kill it very fast. I, I don't recall seeing many bosses in this game. There's really none. There's not many. It's more like you, there's like a critical emergency section. Right. That's not but not really like a thing. boss, like a singular enemy. Right. It would have been cooler if there were bosses. Yeah. All right, we found the antibiotics. Oh no, we're gonna fall. So this nurse zombie down here is like fucking haunted. She teleports around the room. She makes your, your lights and your scanner not work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out a fucking mine and I'm gonna set it up in a place where she's gonna get hit by it. Is she actively chasing you right now or? Oh, she's about to. I'm gonna get in this corner, and I'm gonna figure out where she spawns. All right, she spawned all the way back there. So I put it in between. She's gonna get aggroed. Hello, come after me. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> that is terrifying. Get wrecked. That is awesome. Believe it or not, that is terrifying. That's the only way to one-shot that, that enemy. If you shoot it with any conventional firearms, She'll keep disappearing, and you have to do it like a whole bunch of times. What was that? There's like a whole bunch of phases. There's explosive zombies with like gas tanks on their back. So he was on the floor. Dude, get away from me. So some of them aren't normal zombies. There's literally like there's a few different varieties. Yeah, that was the first explosive zombie that I encountered. Is ammo really hard to come by in this game? Uh, kind of, yeah. I just picked up a bunch more. The room after the nurse is uh, stocked with stuff. The Last of Us is really finite on resources. Right. If you're playing the most brutal mode, it's like a nightmare. You don't... Remember, you don't technically find bullets. You have to, like, combine and craft shit. Yeah. Alright, I invented this strat here. This is, like, one of those classic, um like defend, like stay alive for a certain amount of time and then the door will open. There's a whole horde of zombies that are gonna just climb into the area. Right. But I found that if you stand right here in between this car and the wall in this corner, the zombies can't figure out where you are. So they just like run around in a circle. Ah! They run around in the circle and they like can't really hit you. But as soon as I take my hand off, of course it gets me. I'm waiting for a, a cue. When he says a certain bit of dialogue, I'm going to count to 15. And then I'm going to go for the door. I know exactly when the door is going to open. Almost there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that's how we're done. Nice. That's how to do it without dying. 
You don't have to run around, you don't have to fight them, you don't have to do all this craziness. Just stand there in the corner. Now, why aren't you going in the manhole? Uh, I'm unlocking that fast travel point, uh, but I don't need to go there now. I have to go back here first. I'm opening it because I have to come back here later. I think my favorite PC games of all time are The Sims 2 and Roller Coaster Tycoon. Just so good. Classics. Uh, do, does the Windows built-in pinball count? Sure. Um, that is so many memories. Dark Forces 2. Sims 2. Probably. Oh, and SimCity 3000. For sure. Mm. Yeah, that's my favorite SimCity. I think Sim Tower too. So many hours of history on that. Alright, so we just unlocked this, the last scanner upgrade, so we can now get anywhere we want. There are certain gates that require the last scanner upgrade to like open it up. But when do you unlock fast pants? We got fast pants right now. I must have missed it, it was too fast. Thanks, guy, I don't know. So they call them the infected in this as well? Yeah, they never say zombie, they say infected. Yeah, a lot of games, uh, in Last of Us is infected as well. I mean, that's something like a fungal infection. Damn it. Bad luck. Besides the spores, if you are scratching... Oh my god. <laughs> what was that ragdoll physics? It, Don't worry about it. Just oh my god. Flipped around. If you're scratching that game, do you turn? I know if you're bitten, you are. Oh, this is really bad. What's up? This guy comes. Shoots him. The head. Oh, the ragdoll? Yeah. The... <clears throat> That was really bad luck. You need so much time to scan the door to open it, but I kept getting interrupted, so I had to run around. I lured one of them into a mine. Ugh, alright, we're alive though. Could be worse. I could just die and the whole game is over just like that, so I'll take what I can get. I love how these fucks unfortunately have fucking helmets. The armor ones barely move when you shove them. It's like that in The Last of Us too. they have police that have body armor and stuff. Right. It's a zombie, a typical zombie fare. Oh my god. That part makes me nervous. The blight doesn't discriminate. Are you just mashing the button there? Yeah, so on the Wii U version, you would like tap the gamepad to like open it, but here you just tap the key on the keyboard. Mm. It didn't match really fast. So we're going to collect more letters, part of that fetch quest I told you about. So we're, we're revisiting some areas that we just were, that we were just at. We're gonna find the Magnum in here. Magnum's pretty cool. Cougar Magnum. Like in Golden Eye. Like in Magnum from Hollywood. Like a handgun you can barely fit in your bloody hand. Okay, so we're gonna get two more letters, finish up that fetch quest, even though we can do it later. And then it was off to, off to the the last mission. Technically the last mission. So we're getting to it. Did we ever get DLC for this game? Uh, no. That's yeah, unfortunate. <clears throat> a software upgrade, a bug fix would be nice. It never happened. Who was the main developer besides... Was Ubisoft the publisher and developer or just the publisher? Yeah. Yes. Really? The uh, the French studio, Montpellier, whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. okay. Sometimes they put out some very good bangers, especially in collaboration with Nintendo. It's just. But this wasn't a moneymaker, obviously, for them, so they're not going to support it. 
right. it, it had a lot of potential. Zombie is an old four, is an old PC game too. Yeah, it was Ubisoft's like first game. Way back in like MS DOS days. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. You saw that? He yeah. is not always in here. That scared me. <laughs> he almost got me there. Alright. That uh that puzzle I just did is kinda cool. You have to like line up this window so that it makes like the crow shape. And then you get the code. And we're gonna go back to the um, the the pier, the Tower of London, where we did that like sequence with the helicopter before. But since we kind of like went did some stuff out of order, the helicopter sound is still here, even though the helicopter crashed. <laughs> Which is super strange. All right, a little bit of RNG here. We don't really want to deal with zombies, but here we are. They're gonna pull me off the ladder if I don't get rid of them, so just have to make sure they're not near me. What's that satellite thing? That satellite jams your your scanner, so you're not able to scan things when that's on, so you just have to blow it up. Who built it? Who the fuck knows? David Ross oh, asks, thoughts on House of the Dead arcade game. Did they ever do anything beyond that game as a franchise? Yeah, Yes, definitely. many. <laughs> yeah, I have, um, well, House of the Dead 2 and 3 on Dreamcast and on the Wii. Don't forget House of the Dead Overkill on the Wii. House of the Dead Overkill is so PS3. good. Yeah, House of the Dead Overkill is like a pulp, like, parody kind of. B-movie, B -movie, fun. funky. Buddy cop. Horror, just weird shit. Super it's lurid. Yeah. Super great though. Played on the Wii instead of the PS3. The PS3 version's ass. Yeah. I remember my brother's referencing, like I played House of the Dead in arcades with the light gun. Right. Back in the day. Right. There was an arcade. But that there had were it. definitely console games. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, it was Sega, so you know, of course they had like the the at home versions of it. Right. Those are good times. It was, it was some more civilized times. The arcade we had near us at the mall was called Aladdin's Castle, which was a chain, actually, weirdly enough. They had a ton of arcades throughout the country. It was great. We miss arcades. Really we, do. They had like coin pushers and skee ball. Right. Those are like gambling for kids for <laughs> coin pushers. <laughs> they were still fun though. Well, yeah. They had. They still have a lot of stuff in Japan. Like just go have fun. The difference was it's incredibly cheap to play. I remember. Fifty cents play. Have I remember. I think either with a coin pusher or something else, I got like three hundred tickets, and my brother and I had saved our tickets for like months and months. And we went to redeem them, and they were like, oh, actually, like, we don't take some of these tickets because they're older. They fucking tried to, like, not take the fucking tickets because they changed the style of it. It's like, are you there, kidding unless me? Unless there's an expiration on the ticket, they can go fuck them. Yeah, yeah. And my father, I think, advocated for us, and we, we got some shitty prize, you know. What's so funny, and I mentioned this before, the street fair in, our, in the neighborhood here in Queens, they have a Wii U... And like an Xbox yes. 360 as yeah, a same place, I remember seeing yes, that. as a prize for like blowing water into the clown's I, mouth I, or whatever. I saw that like a eight years ago. It has to be yeah. an empty box. Yeah, it's it an empty be. like a tattered old Wii U box. That, that, those those two. I, I remember going with him like eight years ago, and those yeah, prizes I saw were it there last from... last year when Jesus. I ran into Angelo's parents. How sunfaded are the boxes? <laughs> I morning. saw Angelo's parents at the street fair. Yeah. How sunfaded are they? Pretty. It's, the it's box not, is not it's just tattered. It's just tattered. But it's, it's it just beat up. So no one's won one of those nice. two exact consoles for eight years, basically. Yeah. It's insane. Well, it's it's a sign of the times. Carnies are like, you know, I love that. That's that's an aesthetic that I can appreciate. That's, that's the America that I know. Yeah, it's like arcade. You know, no one ever got the Xbox at the arcade, you know, or whatever it was at the time. The the like yeah, the nine thousand yeah, hundred thousand right. tickets. You need to spend a fortune to get it. All right, this section is famous. This is the arena and the catacombs. Um, don't blink. Woo! You have fast pants. 
This is the most claustrophobic, terrifying part of the game. We're in catacombs and there's zombies everywhere. Let's see how let's see how we do. I can't really slow down either, because then more zombies will show up. Just trigger your inner John Wick. Oh, oh wow. He like he fell down from somewhere. Fucking catacombs. This shit's terrifying. Can you imagine the smell? Musty. All these rotting bodies. I imagine it's musty. All that old air and stuff. <gasps> Dude! Did he fuck me? Can I get up here? Why wouldn't you be? Oh, because they can pull you off the ladder if they're behind mm -hmm. you. Alright, we made it to the arena. We're not safe yet. Uh, you I get captured. Yeah, you get captured by these crazy survivors who are like kidnapping people and forcing them to like fight zombies for entertainment, which is totally believable. Yeah, totally. So they they made this like arena in front of the church, and you have to like fight it out with just a handgun. Akion says that displaced gamers videos when he brought back a, a slew of bad memories. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so I mean, the I'm game. I'm so glad. The game code is so jank, as you can see. It's just like a good developer versus a. Medium. Yeah. Yeah. They just had horrible math. Yeah. Just yeah. play Journey to Silence. Alright, so all the equipment that you have is just gone, and he just hands you a handgun and says, Good luck. Do you ever get it back? You get it back, but you have to clear this area first. I purposely left all my good stuff at the safe house. So you gotta use these red barrels to kill them quickly. They come in waves, so every time I clear a wave, more will spawn in. Grab a health pack. Do you think humanity will ever be this fucked again? Again? I mean, we're not ever fucked again. like no, this. No, this, this is akin to the Colosseum. Fuck that. We've been fucked in the past. I think the Colosseum is. is Damn it, I missed one. Right. Do you have my bullets? Wait, do you have unlimited ammo in this section? No, you don't. Okay. That's fine. This one's really hard, so this wave, I want them all to blow up with this one mine. Yeah. But most likely one of them is going to survive. Let's see what happens. Oh, they actually got them all. Nice. Yes, that's really, really good. That's so hard to do on purpose. Uh, Akion says that this place... Oh, okay. Okay. Right ahead. You're not paying attention. Sorry. So what I did there is... Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, there is a whole bunch of zombies behind the door. So the guy taunts you and he says, Oh, you want your stuff back? Just hit the red button and you'll get it. But if you open the, the shutters, like, they all come out and they'll attack you. So what you have to do is just put a mine right behind the door and then hit the button. And as soon as it opens, they all die. And you can hear the zombies get loose and they kill everybody. Hi. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is that part where I was talking to you about before that's really tight. Oh! Okay. We made it. Now is the last part of the game. We're almost there. Has anyone used the VPN with their console for? If so, any suggestions for Xbox or Switch? When you say VPN. VPN with their console, what do you mean? You can have a VPN on your router that'll work, but not necessarily one on your console. What about VPL? I'm more interested in that. What's VPL? What's VPL? You know what VPL is? No. Is it something sexual? <laughs> Maybe. Is it like Vor? Uh, no. <laughs> Everyone in the chat can look it up if they're interested. I'll do another safety save, but honestly, I don't really need it. Well, VPL is for ladies' visible panty line. 
for visible. Oh, okay. okay. Well, think of it what I mean. What? I can't remember every acronym, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna almost like a oh, people like that. So normally during a run, I would just like not save at all, unless it's like the beginning where I do the mission skip. But this is just for safety. So the doctor is not in his lab anymore. And he told us, oh, I found the cure, but you have to hurry up. Mm -hmm. And when we get here, he's not there. So I wonder what happened to him. Let's go find him. He's dead. He finally turns. All right, I gotta do a complicated equip here. So, uh, grenade, mine, medium. Okay. All right, a little complicated menuing there, but I just want to do as many. I want to have as many items as possible on my hotkeys, so I don't have to menu more later. There's two nerf zombies that I'm going to have to kill, and I'm going to try to kill them with the same grenade. I'm going to use a flare to like get them in the same spot. Is it Nurse Joy? Yeah, Nurse Joy and her sister. Nurse Joy. Oh! Hi. Remember when Jenny wants to become Pokemon Nurse? Play these. Alright. Die. Both of you, die. Alright, it worked. It worked. Nice. Now this is scary. The doctor's in the next room. He's a zombie now. And he has two armored zombies guarding him. I'm gonna run in, drop a mine, and hopefully they all die. Joel, it's gonna using, be pretty swag if I do it. Using a VPN to change location in order to play things like Netflix it worked. from London? Nice. This yes. Is New York. Uh, I mean, Joel, I, I mostly... I do that only on like PC or other devices. I don't use them... Like, you can't really, unless you mod your console, you can't just install a VPN on it. The code actually is the same each time. Like, there are two codes in the game that are the same. Yeah. So I don't have to guess. It's only those two, though? Everything only else those two. Yeah. That's how I knew it already. It's the same every time. Because the code is actually, like, on a texture in the wall. It's not like something you scan and it, like, auto-generates. So they're different. Alright, last part of the game. We had we took out the doctor's eyeball. I saw that, yeah. Which we're gonna use on the retina scanner. I like so how you mash the E button to take out his eyeball. Yeah. I figured that was for a retina scan somewhere. I love how that's like a common trope now. Yeah. Alright, here's another cool time save. There's two paths here. One of them leads to a ladder where you can drop down. But this path leads to a, this epic drop, and oh, wow, I almost died. If you have full health, you can survive that fall. Star Wars Dark Forces does the same thing. It, you drop down a huge shaft, and you almost die, but then there's a health pickup like, yeah. right there. But you have to have full health. If I didn't have it, I would have died for sure. Yeah. So what I do is I, I pack, I have a medium med pack and a large med pack on hotkeys. So I use one to get to full health, drop, and then heal instantly. So I'm not like in the red. So if you were to die, you said your character changes every time, right? Not in this mode, this is survival mode. If I die, the game automatically saves the instant I die, and it's over. I have to start from the beginning. It's really br brutal. This is a permadeath mode. So your character might be also be the same. It's just the, your first survivor always looks the same. Okay. All right, we're gonna drop a mine here soon. What happened to that zombie? That's just for effect. It's scripted. There's a nerf zombie, but it teleports away. You don't ever fight it. I think. So watch this. I'm gonna drop a mine right here. Activate the computer. And two zombies that burst into the room will die instantly. <laughs> they just went off. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I think that's alright. Oh my god, get out. 
I hate that. Get out of my way, man. You can't really run over them. Well, don't get scared. So now we have the cure, which is located on a USB key that we have. And we have to escape the palace underground. Joel wants to know, is it possible to speedrun a zombie game like Zombies Ate My Neighbors in a couple of hours? Yeah, probably. Totally, yeah. yeah. I don't know what the world record Jump is here. for that. They put that red zombie in a blind spot, so right when you come up the stairs around the corner, of course. he's standing right there, and if he swipes you once, you're dead. Of course. So you just he's in the perfect height where if you just turn and shoot, you blow his legs off, and he's like incapacitated. Joel, it's 30 minutes. <laughs> he will do it in 30 minutes. I don't recall that game being like extremely long. Yeah, there's a lot of floors though. Good game. I never got that. Emily's, I'm Emily's played it before. She grew up with it. She's good at it. She might play it once. Alright, so we can't use fast travel. Fast travel. Fast travel. We're not allowed to use it at the end. So we have to actually walk back to the safe house. Question for Steve. Did you ever beat Home Alone 2 on SNES? <laughs> no, no. But uh, Joel and I had played it before and it was brutal and cruel. Joel, I was saying to the guys earlier about how we played um, Star Trek The Next Generation Futures Past on SNES and we did beat it, but it was uh, torturous. <laughs> it was fun, but it was torturous. The game itself is terrible. None of that sounds Home Alone 2 is equally really, really bad. Sometimes it's the bad games that you enjoy. The bad games? I don't yeah. think there's any bad game I actually enjoy. Well, like Terminator. It's bad, but... It's, it, it's, it's bad, bad, and it's bad. I enjoy watching it. That's about yeah. it. Uh, oh my god, what a slog. Totally. <laughs> Alright, almost done. Tell me when it's time. Not, not, not quite, quite yet. yet. Yeah. Well, you're just hit a minute. A minute? You mean an hour? A minute. I mean, sorry, an hour or 58. Future's Pass was so hard. Yeah. Yeah. We had such a good time. Yeah, we did. Any yeah, asteroids? Your asteroids? It was sitting for a while. Yeah. The Beef Eater zombie is the iconic one in this game. For sure. It's in the cover art. It's in the Buckingham Palace when it's raining. Is do they show up yeah. anywhere else? They do. They're only in the palace section. Yeah. Which would make sense, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so we go back to the safe house. All we gotta do is check the box, the supply box, and then we can escape. The prep is gonna yell at us. Oh I see how it is. You don't bloody plotting and conspiring with our back. Joel's asking, what's the earliest zombie game everyone played? Probably Resident Evil for you, Angela. Yep. Definitely. What about you? I'm thinking. It's a zombie game. That's an early zombie game. Probably like a zombie villain, like a casual like, game, like Crash Bandicoot or something. I don't know if that counts. Oh, I think I gotta stand up. Is that time? Oh, no, it's not. That's what to say. This is an unskippable cutscene. It's a false ending, so you think, oh, we escaped, it's over. So it's finally revealed what the prepper looks like. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Yeah. Oh, oh he's a vet. Oh, I've he seen the prepper before. Yeah. The plot more or less is like this guy lures survivors into his like doomsday bunker that's in the subway station. And he kind of uses them to get supplies. Like, look how much stuff he has. Yeah. He has so much petrol. He had us go on a suicide mission yeah. for petrol, and he's got so much food and supplies. It's a good twist. Right. Yeah, he's like a doomsday prepper, except he was right. Yeah. Apparently David's first zombie game was the House of the Arcade game. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. that's probably mine, probably too. Probably me, too, because that's my brother. Lemmings. 
as long as they might ever see. Oh, look, all the survivors, like, their photographs there. Oh, man. So, at the end, there's a new person that he lures into the tunnels the same way he lured you. Yeah. But uh, the whole city's gonna get bombed, so I'm not sure if he survives. What a great premise, though. It's such a cool concept. Yeah. And he's like an ex-military communications expert, so he's got cameras wired up everywhere. This is a better. Do you read me? Oh. Alright. The real ending now. We have to get on the helicopter and escape. This time it'll work. Kind of cheesy, we're doing the exact same section again, but in a different context. Now who's flying the helicopter? These uh, Ravens of D, they're like a... They're like a group that prepared for the Doomsday. They're like a secret society. Alright, I'm gonna take a hit here. Alright, throw flare. Yes, okay. A lot of baddies here. Baddies. <laughs> uh, okay. That just obviously distracts them from coming out. Yeah, you get like good 10 seconds to run past them. We don't have to kill any zombies here, but the goal of the mission is get all the zombies off the roof, and then the ending cutscene will play. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. A little scary. Careful with your health. Alright, so I threw a flare down there and it gets them all off the roof and then the helicopter should pick us up. Get ready on time? Yep. Again. Time, time, time. One hour, <laughs> five minutes. Alright, nice. That went really well. Zombie. That went pretty good. But what happened to the guy? Oh, guy, the prepper? Yeah. Well, he, he's in his bunker. He's not leaving. So the ending, they bomb the whole city. They firebomb it. I'm assuming he doesn't survive because the tunnels probably collapse. It's ambiguous. It's very ambiguous, yeah. You don't really get an ending. You just see yourself get on the helicopter, flies away, and then that's it. It's over. Is Zaddy Angelo ready? <laughs> nice. Go, Zaddy, go. All right, in game time, 58-43. The world record is 57. Wow. And who has the world record per se? Mm. Perhaps I? No. So Angela, if you shave off eight minutes, you could have world record. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I gotta pee. Nice. I had to pee for the last half an hour. I need to take a break. We'll be right back, guys. Alright, we'll be right get back. Get some drinks, and, and then we'll get right to the next game. Yeah, next game up we have Contra. A so much better game. Hold on to your cons. We are, uh, we'll be right back.
Stop that part. <laughs> All right, oh. we are back. <laughs> Just gotta make a few adjustments on stream. Where we start. <clears throat> you can hear this banger music going on. Do we need to change the game audio at all or no? No, should be fine. Perfect. The game capture audio? Yeah. Yep, yeah, we're fine. good. Alright, and then the last thing is game title. Little pill, man. Like I said earlier, hold on to your cons because this is going to be an awesome time. Reset the timer. All right, we're ready to go. Oh, madonna mia. Oh, let me grab my drink. <sighs> so my brother and I didn't grow up with Contra, but I wish we had because it's a great game. We would have fought probably a lot while playing it. <laughs> Shout out to Contra. Shout out to Contra. Is it, but is it better than Waterworld? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready. ready. Uh. Mages. Yeah, a little bit would be good. Yeah, perfect. There you go. All right. All right. Time is uh when I gain control. When there's the two metals that are my lives show up. Yep. Uh, time. Okay. Yep. Time. Go start. All right, and we're going. Joel said, did we do the 30 lives code? No, we did not. <laughs> the Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. Nope. Angelo's too good. We don't need it. Not going to need it. Followed by Mingo's um, I forgot Are two of you place, going yeah. to play? Nah, it's just solo for Angelo. Yeah, I had my, I had my, uh, my run earlier with Double Dash. Mm -hmm. So Angelo's getting the spreader, which is... Uh, required through the end of the game and rapid fire. We're gonna try to just keep the spreader throughout the entire run. Yeah, the spreader's great. Contra, it's, for the most part, it's a great series. Yeah. A few missteps, per usual, but... But they're like, a few. Yeah. Uh, but RG? I was replaying Contra 4 again recently, it was still right. so nice. good. That was a sick run. Yeah. Good, good. That was a good luck. Sick first stage, yeah. yeah. You can throw bombs in different directions, so... That was good luck, I was hoping for that. Another Konami banger. What would you say is the best Konami game? For me, it's Metal Gear. Turtles in Time. Mm. Well, no, it is probably Metal, Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid, Solid 1. Yeah. Or... Mm, 4. Because <laughs> that's my favorite Metal Gear game. It's hard. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid is better than Castlevania. No offense, love Castlevania, but still. So Metal Gear Solid is a good one. What about you, Ange? What's your favorite Konami game? Uh, I don't know. Would it be this? Guys, would you say this is 2.5D? <laughs> this oh, is 2.5D. Before oh. the 3 existed. Before combo <laughs> 2. Oh, shit. Did anyone play Galaga? A lot in the arcades as a child. That was my favorite arcade game as a kid. Too much. Joel also says, The Spreader is Great is the title of my sex tape. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I was gonna make a sex joke. I refrained, but glad somebody did. He and Steve thinks he has class. <laughs> <laughs> Just like stomp a hole through the floor while you go. Mm -hmm. Or fall. I hate this level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get an invincibility upgrade. Is your laptop okay? Yeah, it's fine. What happened? I spilled a little bit of uh, I was so excited by the comment that I spilled my truly. <laughs> you want to retard it here? Just keep it with you. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright, got it. Nice. So, Angelo had to get the invincibility there. Right. It just makes this level much easier when you don't have to worry about getting hit. Sorry about the mic spikes, guys. Did something spilled? Uh, no, don't. The mic is fine. All right, what is? Uh, best Konami game is of course Winx Club for PS2. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, Akian, yeah. I accidentally <laughs> deleted your comment. I didn't mean to ban you. <laughs> I was wiping. I was wiping my key. I didn't. Ban Akian, you. it was an accident. <laughs> I was wiping my keyboard down. I deleted it. You can retype it. It's it's hilarious. <laughs> it's really cringe. 
Silent Hill 2 is yeah. the best Konami game. Okay, so Joel, that is the best Silent Hill game. I'll give you that. But Silent Hill 2 definitely has its moments. Actually, I like... So, you, Joel, you ever play Silent Hill 4? You ever play The Room? With Tommy Wiseau? Yeah, right. Oh, man, I can talk oh. me. <laughs> this game is... I, this music is really good here. Like it, it is! It's in general good. These levels all, always kick my ass and kill me, though. Also good run so far. Yeah. Don't jinx it now. I know. It's going well. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Don't shoot me. <sighs> I have not. Joel, you should play it. Um, you might not like it more than two, but it's it's weird and interesting. Two, three, and four are considered like the best Silent Hill games. And it, and very expensive. Do you have to? Yeah, I have Those all Those games the are so Hills. expensive. I can't get any of them now. I was lucky. I got all the Silent Hills. It's disgusting. Even Origins and like the other ones are just up there now. Come on. Alright, I really hate this boss coming up. I hope I do well. Yeah. It's the one that phases, right? Wow. Uh, Good yeah, job. Yeah. You can only hit it when it's phased. Phase on. Phase on, yeah. Right. Phase is on. Phase on lines. <laughs> Which is again why the spreader is so essential for this. Just look at this. It's disgusting. Alright. Alright, nice one, so it's good. A lot of cycles, but whatever. Yeah. Full side. Nice. Good. Yeah, that's all right. good. That's alright. I'm gonna go for a risky thing in snowfields here. The first section is possible to do without stopping, so let's see if I get it. If I die, I can get the powers back. Here we go. Power spec? I got it. Nice. Cool. Dodging all those grenades. That's awesome. Angelo has activated his God Gamer mode. Apparently. Oh, he shot the bullets. Fuck you. Russian attack helped you gets it into this. Contra zone. three is the best Contra in my opinion. Alien Wars forever. Con yeah, it's, agreed. Alien agreed. Wars is very good. Contra four, I think, is mine maybe now. Contra four is excellent because it references Alien Wars, but Alien Wars is still freaking fantastic. It all extremely what fucking hard. Yeah, yeah how that enemy come? When did Mad Max come? He's, He's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Got a good spread rhythm going. Nice. Would you say that you're really spreading it? I've been known to spread it very well. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Making it look easy. Making it look easy. Oh. You don't have to stop here. You can just jump over. The grenades don't hit you while they're in the air, so you just gotta jump over the explosions. Oh, nice, nice. This boss can spawn either in the middle, left, or right, so I'm just gonna guess and see what I get. Yep. We, we got Krang. No, this isn't Krang. That's not next level. Next, next level is Krang at the end. I think he's called JJ in this game. Yeah, everyone calls him JJ. I don't, I don't know where that comes <laughs> from. Joel's asking, has anyone played Contra uh, Galuga? Oh, the new one. That's yeah, the new one. New one yeah. I, haven't, I haven't gotten it yet, Joel. Operation Galuga. Yeah. I, I heard about it. I heard it was good. Contra 4, honestly, I've been listening to the soundtrack. It remixes a lot of the Contra 1 music and Alien Wars. It's so good. I did bring it with me, by the way. Yeah. I brought Contra 4 with me. <clears throat> Joel, yeah. believe it or not, I just got a Contra vinyl in the mail. Ooh, it's nice. really, it's really just, sick. Just made that. Like a vinyl record. Um, was, have you played Galaga? Is it good? Oh. Oh, oh that my God. time I was... did not know if that was gonna work. Oh Jesus. My God. Keep going, my keep ass. going. Eight minutes. I lost a lot of time there, but I got really nervous. No, it's better this level thing. makes me fucking nervous. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of getting it for uh, the Switch too, Joel. Uh, 
Contra vinyl? Yeah, they they have vinyl for different Contra soundtracks. I have oh. one of them. Okay, we're still alive. Nice. And now we have Krang from the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, so weird. Ah, uh, easy, uh, easy with the spreader. Easy with the spreader. Ah, uh, come on. Two more levels. Nice. We have the gauntlet. Oh, we made a mistake. It's alright, we recovered. Yeah. Watch a stream of Mike. Uh, you watch a stream of Mike Mate for Galaga. It looked great. No. What you mean? You mean the game looked great? Clearly not him. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the Contra Rebirths uh, vinyl I got in the mail. Got it, uh, Joel. It's, it's, nice. It sounds really cool in the six six box art. I destroyed I destroyed this card this uh, card near the beginning. I was supposed to jump on it and I blew it up by accident. All right, hold on. Minecart card. Oh. oh, nice. What's with games of this era obsessed with minecarts? <laughs> that jump was very. Oh cool. my oh, god. god! Oh my god! You almost got hit. That was crazy. That P almost got you. God gamer. You did it. Oh my god. My life. Okay. Like I said, God Gamer mode activated. Fucking wrecked. Let's go. Oh my god, Let's my heart. Go! My heart. <laughs> you are. This game tries to troll you so much. It really does. The movement is so precise. It looks easy, but it's so precise. One bullet and you're fucked. Yes, exactly. I'm gonna time this right now. Oh, nice. nice. How Very the nice. fuck? That mashed potatoes, it's all about that. So here you just blow up the white bubbles that come out. Yeah. At least once, and then you're fine. You don't have to kill the purple things. That's an extra spreader if you need it. We're almost coming up on time. Coming up on time. Time is when I lose control. I'm gonna aim up with my gun, so that when he points the gun down, you know when it's time. Yeah. Alright, one, just call it two, three, four. Ah. Tell me when. Oh, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry. Yep, yep. And. Time. 11 All minutes, right. 14 that was seconds. So okay. sick. That is 13 seconds off my PB. Nice, nice. What was the time loss in this run? I didn't even know. Uh, well, mainly the death at the end and oh, right. and energy zone. I stopped for a while trying to get the invincibility. Yes. I like couldn't get With the it. flames. The flames were heart. like on a. They were not synced up. Yeah. So if one went down, the other one went up. Right, right, right. So there's no safe no time. Yeah, but yeah. then I remembered you can jump over to the other side and then drop. Yeah. So I was like a little, little bit of a brain freeze there. That was awesome. GG. GG's, that's you, Contra. You are 156. <laughs> that's really good. Leave. <laughs> that's really good. So David Ross says, uh, any chance of a Friday the 13th on NES speedrun goat soundtrack? No. 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 With this no. Purple <laughs> fucking outfit in that Terrible game. Soundtrack. No, good. Terrible. No, no, no. All right. All right, well, we have one more game left. Are we on our last game? I can't believe it. We're here. We're on our last game. It's 7. We're 7 o'clock. We're done by now. Oh, Are wow. we really? I thought we had... I thought we were on time. All right, our last game is Mega Man 64. Mega Man 64. On also what console is it? <laughs> it's, on the, it's on the Amiga. On the Amiga. Oh, on the Commodore Amiga. Uh, my brother David might remember that we had an Amiga when we were growing up, actually. It was, it was great. It was really Did nice. you guys have an N gauge? No. I wanted one, but no. That was in the 2000s. Yeah, well, mid -2000s. Was a, a surprise special guest. Our last game is actually going to be on the N gauge. On the and we're going to stream it. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright. All right. Really quick break while we transition. Uh, da, da, <laughs> transition? Alan's going to be what transitioning. What kind of transition here? We'll see what happens when we come back.
Here we go. All right, we are um, back. We with... may, it may increase game volume slightly. Yeah. We're playing Rock Band Dash. What the heck is that? Yeah, Rock Band Dash. I don't know um, that. Nobody knows what that is. It has a totally different title screen than Mega Man 64. Uh, yeah. yeah. Normal difficulty, right? Yeah, normal. You can put like any percent normal. Yeah, that works. Great. I'm really tired. All right, folks, we are at the end of our journey. We yeah, completed speed nine speedruns. This is the tenth one and the last one. Um, I used to speedrun this game like ten years ago, uh, so it's going to be a really rusty run. I have some notes here. I'm relying a lot on muscle memory, but this game is amazing and more people should play it. So shout outs to Mega Man Legends community for showing me how to play this game back then and for still keeping the game going. And yeah, gotta be excited to play this game more often. So we're gonna be playing Japanese, so it's gonna seem a little strange, but I'll explain why it's faster when we get into it. Yes, Joel, That's this it. is the guy from Marvel vs. Capcom too. Yeah, the Surf Bot. Oh, All right. Um, I'm ready on time when you're ready. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Pretty much playing with tank controls. Everyone hates the N64 version because the sound is really compressed, it's really janky and weird. Well, you got the controls. You got the, the PlayStation version is like the de facto version. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to be running sideways strafing the whole time because same concept as before. It's faster. Yeah. We're going to be running at an angle. And I'm jumping over these text triggers so I can get a little bit more distance and skip the dialogue. It's entirely in Japanese, so I'm... I have to rely on just knowing what all the menuing is in English. Right. And making the same selections. See this this music I like. I wish this kind of music was in Terminator. There's like yeah, just this enough change. Really cool. You just got a buster part, buster parts augment your gun. They can make more shots, make it stronger, give you more rapid fire ability, more range. That's a simple one that just makes my gun stronger. So I'm going to try stutter shooting now, is even though we don't have rapid parts. I'm really bad at You can see I can kind of rapid fire if I just keep tapping up on the stick oh, yeah. while I'm firing. Not so good at it, but we got it. Nice. So what's the lore in this game? <laughs> the lore is, it's like... Some point in the future where like energy is really hard to come by. I think society has like collapsed. Oh, it definitely has. Mega Man got dark quick. Everybody died. Dark. So dark. But yeah, we crash on this island and we don't know anything about it. So we're just kind of stranded here. So they task us with going to town to try to find parts to repair the ship we're on because it because it crashed. But then we uncover like there's secret ruins here and there might be like bigger treasures. And it kind of gets into the really, really wacky stuff with uh, the world annihilation. The sequel is very similar to that too. I love the vibe of just like underground ruins having ancient technology, but like futuristic technology. Mm -hmm. Like there's robots and like sentient uh, stuff down there. Mm that's just been like sleeping there for god knows how long. Mm -hmm. Perhaps like robots from like the other Mega Man eras. Yeah. Uh, I had talked with Jeremy Parrish before about this game and I was yeah. saying to him about like there's a lot of similarities between this and Mega Man Battle Network, like Zenny being the yeah, currency. Yeah, Zenny is the currency. Yep, yeah, and there's like other... They're like crystals. Yeah, right. there's, there's other things that carried over. It's such like an interesting era of Mega Man Capcom development. I just love the music in this game. Joel, actually, funny, I have the vinyl for both this and two. 
I really like the fact that most dialogue options or cutscenes, you can hit the start button and it skips it entirely. So despite being an RPG adventure game, there's not too much points where you know you just kind of have to wait for things to happen or people to finish talking. It's all action, basically. Great music too. Yeah. So we just rescued the junk, junk shop store owner. He's gonna give us some parts. So we can't repair the ship, but we can do more. There's a prompt there. He asks you, what's your name? And you have two prompts. One says Mega Man, the other one says Hippopotamus. <laughs> if you say Hippopotamus, they obviously just remark that's a really weird name. <laughs> Here's Roll. So she kind of acts as like the support person. Oops, I wasn't supposed to say yes. Is she your sister or your lover? Both. <laughs> both. Why can't you? The jury is still out now. <laughs> Not both. Not both. She so is, awesome. for all intents and purposes, your sister in this game. That's unfortunate. It's too bad. <laughs> There's also a Tron Bond, which is yeah, more, of a, say, Tron more of a romantic interest. Yeah. That, that pirate. Yeah, Tron is like part of this group of pirates called uh, the Bonds. They're trying to like raid the island and like rob everything, so we like stop them every time. There she is, bye. Uh, but every time we like appear, she gets like super flustered and she's like, I can't help but like, you know, feel like he's, uh, you know, like cute or something. She gets like so flustered. She's falling in love with her enemy. David says, Oh man, Mega Man Bad Network, I haven't thought about that game in forever. Yeah, really. I, David, I didn't know you knew about that game. <laughs> we should talk about that later. You guys are brothers, you should know. I didn't know. That, that game is good, it's just rough. Alright, are you ready for the most anti-PETA moment ever? Yes. Uh, this yeah. dog is barking at Tron, we gotta save her. <laughs> oh my god. Bye. <laughs> oh, damn. You just punt the dog. You not get me today. So in that scene, uh, Tron is being chased up a tree by the dog because she's off to no good and the dog knows it. Uh, so in the English version, you have to talk with the dog and like get it to settle down. But in the Japanese version, you can do that or you can just walk up to the dog and punt it. Yeah. And it flies away, which is really funny. Joel says, David, nobody has, but there is a collection. Yes, you should. Well, I, I wouldn't say about that, Joel. Everyone remembers those games fondly, but right. the collection's good if you can grab a copy. We Every got a mega, mega boss rush right now, so it's, it's time to focus up. Everything after three is ass. I remember you playing it and me thinking it looked fun, but you would never let me play. You are an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> You denied your brother uh, the magic of Mega Man Battle Network? It was emulated. Oh. Still. No. Oh, I messed up this fight. Oof. That's close. I messed up this fight already. Yeah, I mean... This is he's cringe. Al he's almost dead. This is cringe. <laughs> cringe compilation 2024. There oh go. god, that was so uh, ugly. I was supposed to just throw mines at him, at the robot, and supposed to get kind of stunlocked. Whatever, we move on. So my brother says he doesn't remember me, or he, I, I wouldn't let him play. It was on emulator! <laughs> in, uh, in high school, I discovered Mega Man Battle Network, because I had uh, GBA, whatever it was, GBS EMU, and I would play all the Battle Networks. It was so good. He says, oh my god, bad luck. I don't actually remember if I was into it or not, probably not at the time. I do remember you playing it. Damn it, see if you Dude, what is happening? Be a better person. <laughs> That's why we're having this fundraiser. Fundraiser? <laughs> fundraiser, we're benefiting nobody, remember? This, this is, is really, really bad. If I'm not fast enough here, one of the important buildings might blow up. Oh, yeah. And that would be really bad for me. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, please don't attack the bank. Oh, thank God. All right, we're still safe. Nice. There's three main buildings, the police station, the bank, and city hall. If one of them blew up, it will fuck up my route big time. I'll need to, like, repair them. Mm. That was an awful city hall. Ooh, God. It's still standing, though. One more boss. I'm going to try a, a quick kill. <sighs> oh, what a cute looking boss. Nope. Bad pattern. Ooh. Alright. Nice. Cool. Awesome. Let's go. That's like a boss rush. You gotta do a whole bunch of fighting at the same time. Does Mega Man have any Robe Bros? Uh, probably. Well, Proto Man is, I guess, his brother, kind of, weirdly. Yeah, Proto Man is technically his brother. Although, it's it's his older brother. He's the protege. Right, he was, he was created with a defect. He's robot number 000. What about Proto Magical Girl? I, see, I was not gonna make a joke, but. Okay. <laughs> Which robot it is she? <laughs> Cringe Man. Dr. Wily. Cringe Woman. Dr. Wily. Had another creation. <laughs> but, <laughs> An evil creation. <laughs> must collect the Doc Energy. Well, Meg, 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 the Meg, evil Meg, energy Meg, Mega Man. I love Battle Network so much. Just. Uh, I, I wish I had discovered this game. I feel like I would have loved this too. For this sure. is a great RPG. Like, yeah. It's just excellent. N64 emulation just wasn't there until no. like later on in the early 2000s. For some reason, it just doesn't work well in emulator. It just chugged on the yeah. computer like because so the coding is so ass. It still does. It has issues on Play Play computers. I know PlayStation One emulation was similar, like unplayable. Whereas GBA, everything else, like right. obviously that could. That but could people figured out PS One pretty quickly. Though. By 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 like mid two thousands, it was golden. So Joel is asking how Roll is related to Mega Man. We we were talking about this so, earlier. I was like, I think it's his girlfriend. In the original games, that's his sister. I she's not related to him in Legends or in sixty four, but. They still like are just buddies. It's his, most part. but it's his girlfriend though in some of the games. Right? No. Yeah. She's always been the sister. You're trolling. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, and, and You're she, such a troll. She fucks. No, and she doesn't. She doesn't, doesn't, doesn't fuck she anybody. Fucks. She's not. She's not his sister in this. In Mega Man movies. fucks Roll, and it's whatever. What do they give birth to? They they the little monkey birth. They're both robots. Doctor Light is their father. They're not genetically related. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a troll. And Joel's asking, Welcome. this is actually, this is on an N64, it's Japanese because Japanese is faster, so Angelo has yes. an adapter on his N64 console. There's I can play Japanese games on this console. The region lock on an N64 is like physical, it just, it has, plastic it has a plastic tabs that you can't plug the game into, but if you remove those tabs or if you have a different adapter, you can just play it. It's it's same. Yeah, so you can either swap the plastic, break the plastic, which is easier filing it down, and then it'll work. We have, a, Nintendo's similar. we have a glitch up coming, um, coming up where I go out of bounds and I skip a whole section. I'll show you how that works. The first guy to hit this trigger. Are you triggered? I'm triggered. <laughs> We're about to get even more We're triggered both here. We're just thinking the same stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a shortcut here. A little shortcut. Get in the fucking door. All right. So we're gonna turn off our special weapon so we get our kick back, and then we're gonna go up here, line up here, and then kick. Come on, come on. Yeah! Oh, wow! Impressive. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh. And I'm moving backwards into here. Wow. That was sick. So weird. We're gonna grab some Zenny from this hole. The money hole. The money hole. It's a cold and honey trap. I've now, Angelo, can you recognize some of the characters, or is everything on the menu muscle memory for you? Um, yeah, like, I know what all the menuing is. I know what all the prompts are already. I think so I'm training Japanese. Box. I really think so. I recognize like maybe one or two things. That's it. No, I can't read Japanese at all. I'm it's just relying. I play the game so much in English that I know all the prompts already. So if I talk to a character, I know what they're saying. Oh. 
And I get my mines back. You can only have one special weapon at a time, but roll can help you change it. That's a skip too, doing that kind of jump. Get me out of here. Do you get Mega Man's helmet in this game? Yeah, uh, people kind of just remember this game seeing like Mega Man without his helmet, but you yeah. do find a helmet later That's on. That's what I thought, yeah. And you can put it on, it prevents like fall damage. Mm. Same thing in 2. And I think right. in 2 the artwork has him with the helmet. Yeah. yeah. It does. I, I like his artwork with his real hair. I mean, it's such a cool design for Mega Man. Yeah. Right. And he's not the same Mega Man, so... No, yeah, it's a it makes sense. Mega Man and Volmer. Yeah. What? His last name is Volmer in this one. Yeah. Remember, this is like thousands that's of years. That's, that's, the name, that's the name of the family that, like, raised him. Right. Because he was, like, found in one of these ruins. Right, because yeah. it's like, you know, the Reploids all died, humanity lost the war, it was a whole bunch of shit. That's so dark. There's really like dark gameplay. You clearly never played the opening of Zero. These dungeons pretty yeah. much all have the same idea. Like you have to find three things, like a key, three keys, like that. Not to be confused with the keys from Zelda. Yeah, like three objects. It's just like a fetch quest. Find three of them, and then you can unlock, like, and get like the big prize. You know. Joel says that the kick looks like he's practicing for the Rockettes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh my god, a little bit. That's what I think when I see all the kicks in Mega Man 64. <clears throat> so on top of like Japanese having less text, or having text that goes faster, uh, being able to kick that dog saves like 20 seconds. <laughs> I kick the dog. <laughs> yeah. No. You gotta kick the dog. Man. Is that what the mechanic is called? Kick the dog? It's valid, man. It's programmed into the game. It works. So, I mean, it's faster than just trying to talk it down. I almost failed that. Ugh. I kinda need that thing. Get the energy. All the right. dark, dark energy. energy? The evil energy? The evil energy, Mega Man. M Mega Man. That was... Is that, <laughs> that Mega Man 8? That's yes. Mega Man 8, yeah. yeah. No. Phenomenal. Shout out to Mega Man 8's voice cast. Oh my god. Oh my god. Listen. One th take. That plus... <laughs> we just got... We got room in the tape for just one try. That plus Mega Man X4. That's all you need to know. Iris! What are we fighting for? There's no reason for me to go on. Ah. <laughs> so stupid. Such a good game, though. I don't oh care. Oh my god. Such a good game. I can never beat the last boss in X4. Yo, is that his girlfriend? Is she, is she mid or is she hot? He has a thing for, he has a thing for We need to let the most cringy person answer. Alan, is she mid oh, or is she hot? Depends on what you're into. Oh my god. How old are you in this context? No. <laughs> No. No. We lost a viewer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Alright, I gotta buy a bunch of parts now. I wrote them all down. Parts? Yeah, I gotta buy parts <laughs> with a language that I don't know. <laughs> thanks, guy, I don't know. <laughs> this, this whole menu is thanks, guy, I don't know. 3,400. 2400. So, Alan, do you know what the SP in Game Boy SP stands for? On small portable, what is it? Uh, I don't know why I was no. asking. No, I think it's special. Special portable? No, I think it's just special. But I was thinking about it earlier when Angelo was writing down SP. Oh, yeah, special. Wait, wait, wait. Fat Those fat ladies. SP. Jeez, how much space did I take up? Yeah. Those fat hookers. What? They were there were two hookers in the way. Uh, top left, bottom right. No, that's not right. I think that's it. There we go. Yeah. Whoops. That's gonna happen a lot. The menuing is very complicated. Yeah. Yo, that's his girlfriend. Actually, I'm gonna recharge my health. You see his, your girlfriend again. 
There's a fire on the airship, Mega Man. We need you to put it out. <laughs> that's that's Legends, Legends too. Yeah. I played a little bit at the beginning of it. I haven't played these games fully through, although I own them and the Misadventures of Tron Bond. So I do want to play all three of them just to experience it. So Why are you giving me the You finger? have like that game. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys, we have a auto-scroller section, so if you want to get your donations out, this would be a good time. <laughs> oh, my God. Someone consult a GDQ donation reader. It's so stupid. You have time for donations? <laughs> Give a donation, giving $1. I hope you guys all walk into traffic. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to be funny, do you guys really want to prevent cancer? That was the coldest GDQ moment. He got banned for that, right? He did, indeed. Who? The guy who told the audience... You told everyone to kill themselves? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the donator and those watching behind the scenes, glad to save such a worthy cause. <laughs> Plus, this frames towards runner's choice. <laughs> it's so stupid. Joel says, was there ever a Mega Man 64 sequel? So there was Mega Man Legends 2, which is a direct sequel, but that's only on PlayStation 1. But before it came out, there also was The Misadventures of, of Tron, Tron Bond. Bond which, also PS1. It's which a spin-off. Which it's is a spin-off and sequel. extremely, extremely rare and hard to find. Right. Yeah. So, Mega Man 64 is Mega Man Legends. They just changed the title for no reason. Right. So honestly, Joel, if you want to enjoy the series, play it on PlayStation. But in uh, in Japan, it's called Rockman Dash. Right. Yeah. Because in Japan, Mega Man's Rockman. Yeah. Well, M Dash is. Right. It, Dash stands for something. I forget. Yeah. Dash. What are these fucking torpedoes? So this is a total auto scroller. I just have to like fend off these attackers. Like it goes this, on for a while. It's still cool Even though. Even this water texture. I like it. For the, PS, for, the, for the N64. <laughs> for the N64, it looks like, it looks like shit. It looks cool. On awesome. PlayStation, it, and the music it looks, looks like that too. And the music yeah. is nice. This is before good graphics were unlocked. Mario Sunshine had great water graphics. No, Zelda Ocarina of Time did. No. No, no. it didn't. The, this generation of video games did not nail water down. Once we got to like the 2000s, we got to like game PS2 two. water yeah. nailed water. Uh, Mario yeah, Sunshine. You cannot tell me you watched the opening of Final Fantasy X. It was a life. full motion video, it was pre rendered. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> 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 oh my god, fine. <laughs> the lad is too thicky the here. The ladder gameplay. He, like, he really ten. thought he He ate. really got it. He was... <laughs> that was he crazy. FF10 water looks amazing. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Beach water when you're on the Destiny Islands looks amazing. Mario Sunshine and Star Fox Adventures eats that shit for breakfast. Yeah, the water is Gobble, excellent. gobble, gobble. It chomps. On GameCube, water looks incredible. It chomps. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> What is he right? Uh, same Tron from yeah, it's the same yes, Tron from Marvel's Capcom yeah. too. Yeah, Tron Bond is it's her own character. Yeah. We yeah. play as her in that game. She has like her own. She has Joel, if you find class. that game for PlayStation Two, please let me know ASAP. If you do find it, buy it for yourself and then resell it to Alan. And for don't more money. no, and don't ever give it to Alan. Resell it and then tell Alan how much you sold it for. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They both suck. I got Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for $1 at a flea market. Did you, did you really? Yeah, legitimately, I'm How? not lying. The guy didn't know what it was. It, it was, was like, like $200. Sort of all it was just mixed in with CDs. Oh, How long ago was this? Uh, probably 2018 or 19. Alright. Because it's like $200 everywhere. Is it disc only? It was disc only. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I got Tron Bon recently, obviously. Or like, oh, whatever. Tron Bon. Oh, I'm being attacked. Shit. It's sad though, you can't play these games anywhere else. Virtual console, probably, right? They're so, totally on the virtual that's console. not true. Uh, uh, Legends 1 and 2 is still available on PS3 network. Like, if you, right. you could buy it still through the PSN store. Yeah. But it's only locked on the PS3. What about the misadventures of Tron Bond? No, never, never ported anything. Wow. Uh, Mega Man Legends 2 also was out on the playable on the PSP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? They had a Legends lot of 2. 
the well, PSP, PSP had a lot of PS. So one PSP games. had the same store where they ported PS One games to it. Mm -hmm. So Legends One into all those games. This is a really long auto scroller. It is. It's <laughs> ending oh, right oh now. Oh my god. There should be a, a voice prom now. Rolls. Yeah. Okay. So it's over now. Um, but we have like a boss fight. But we can't damage it right away, it's just gonna like chase us around and then it'll become vulnerable. Yeah. So Misadventure of Trombon is also on PlayStation 3. Okay. That's um, good. The store. But, I mean, it's, it's PlayStation three. 3. PS3, yeah. 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 Why is That's it gonna close down modern. eventually. It's five dollars on the PSN store. Yeah. In debt, Mr. Wu. The giant frog monster. Frog robot. So the bonds are the main. Antagonist? You always fight the bonds. They're like oh, yeah. they're like the main antagonist. That's that skull. Yeah, iconography. that's like their iconography. I just buy it on Amazon right now. Yeah. What? Did you see that price? <laughs> buy it. Oh no! A thousand dollars. You sick fuck. Every time you defeat them, they're like completely overwhelmed by the fact that this little blue kid is just like destroying all of their like. Monstrously huge robots. Yeah. Like they can't understand how he's so strong. Oh my god. It's crazy that this came out on N64. I know, it's pretty it's ambitious. So, so weird. Besides omitting like the credits music, they just reuse something else. There's pretty much nothing cut from the game. Wow. Just that credit song. That's it. Yeah. Everything else is there. They did compress the audio to the point where you can't hear the dialogue anymore. Yeah. And there's no subtitles, so you just miss everything. Yeah. Alright. Welcome to N64 Auto Aim. Look at my shots. Oh my god. Explain to me how it's possible to hit anything like this. <laughs> around it. Around the body. Let's I'm trying to like lead the shots a little bit, but like it's so hard to get it to go where you want it to go. Yeah. So it's possible to get like a fast cycle here where you destroy both arms already. But I'll have to wait for the next cycle. Now that I destroyed all the parts, the next time we get to the front, some there's a generator core on the back that's gonna spawn. So then I have to shoot that and then it's over. Who the hell invented sour beer? It's so disgusting. I love sour beer. Who brought that? It's, I think it's my favorite sour beer. Ugh. Eat it, dude. It tastes like fucking shite. Come on, don't make me do another cycle. Okay, nice. thank God. Right, let's go. Yata. Barely able to do Would that. Would you say Yata? Yata! Yata! Uh, by the way, that's the Japanese artwork for uh, this adventures. Yeah. The Rockman Dash slash uh, Misadventures of Trombon are all like really nice. I, I like I mean, the art. Had, they had better artwork than us for Legends too. Like, for a lot of games, a lot of games. Well, they they were trying to figure out like what would sell here. You know? Oh, See, oh my you. God, getting body. Thank you, Joel. He says, "I'm with you." Sours are gross. Yes, they're so gross. Fight me, Joel. I'm drinking this because it's what's available, and it tastes like fucking vinegar crap. Eighteen hundred dollars. What a great. What a fucking scam. I hope I'm finding this game. It's impossible. I thought it was not impossible. What, Trombon? How much did it need? Well, I don't know. I need like 50 bucks. That's fine. Most places are selling it for like 500, 600, 700 dollars. There's not a lot of work. So it's stuff I don't want, but keep the stuff I do. What she say? Uh, she says some. She like remarks on the ruins. She says there's something really weird about this place. Something, something along those lines. The ruins in Legends Two are like almost exactly similar. They're a bit more detailed than Two. The so same deal. I'm, I'm trying to gather three keys. I know where they are. It's like a water themed dungeon. But you don't swim, thank god. There's no swimming uh, mechanics here. At least there's no like weird flickering textures like on PS1. Yeah. 
For the most part, the graphics are good, but the performance is not so good. It kind of chugs. Yeah. Yeah, it is chugging, I've noticed that. This room is pretty large. Yeah. It gets better in other rooms. Um, so we're gonna find a big refractor, which we're gonna use to power our ship, but we're not gonna be able to leave the island yet. Uh, it's no whipped cream vodka, Steve. That's true. Uh, Joel knows I like whipped cream vodka. It mixes so well with everything. Oh God. Uh, this is the second to last dungeon we need to do, technically. Dungeon. Dungeon. Gungan. 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 Oh my god. Who out there is an episode one fan? <laughs> oh my god. Do we got any Star Wars episode one enjoyers? It's, it's the least awful of the three. No. He disagrees. One is the best, two is second best, three is horrible. Three is the best. They're all horrible. Three is the best. No, 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 it's not at all. Three has the best lightsaber fight, easily. No, it's so And it's so quotable. Top. It's so over the That's the, the point! It's his descent into madness. Oh my god. He just kills younglings for no reason. Yeah, good. It's cringe. What do younglings ever do for me? <laughs> I don't know. I knew this was the boss when like I saw it. it sitting in that room. You like the strat that I'm doing? <laughs> It looks like the Gygus from Earthbound. Really? Kind of. Well, kind of struggling with maybe boss. a little bit. Like lanky arms. Right, kind of right. My brother says, Attack of the Clones is the worst. Yes. Honestly, you're yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. For me, it goes 3 1 2. 1 3 2. 2 is the fucking worst. It just drags on. They what? have Natalie Portman in scantily clad shit for no reason. It's like... The better question is what's the best of the new, like, the. Rogue One. Sequel Ro Rogue trilogy? One is the only redeemable thing. No, 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 thing. no, 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 no. I mean, of the sequel trilogy. The Force Awakens. Force Awakens. The Last Jedi and the Force Rise Awakens. Of Skywalker. Force Awakens the best. What's number two? The Force so game I, game. I give, I give Rise of Skywalker two only because it's only bad because two Last Jedi sucks <laughs> yeah, so much it ass. It does. It sucks so much. So ass. much ass. Yes. It's like, how do I salvage this franchise? You know now? how Empire Strikes Back was so awesome. Yeah. Well, the last Jedi it was like in all the, the worst. Way. It sucks in the same way that Empire was so it's good. So bad. It sucks inversely. Bad writing. Bad, bad, bad story. Inversely proportional. Bad As choreography. It, like, there's oh, nothing redeemable about shit. Last Jedi. We shouldn't even talk about it. Fuck them. Oh, no, fuck, fuck them. that shit. Fuck them. Check out this elevator right now. Hold on. I'm going to try to see if I can do this. Joel, I just... you're No, I hope you're trolling right now. What was that? What are you on the elevator and not you're not on the elevator? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. the last if you do it quicker than that, you actually save time. Angel, do you do you know do you own a North American copy of this game as well? Yes. That's my childhood copy. I bought the Japanese version when I got more serious into speedrunning it. I also have Mega Man 64. I have the disc of Legends too. That's that's all I have, unfortunately. I got childhood my disc. Wait, really? Well, because I got a complete. So I oh, okay. Sold my disc. I've really get the fact that like I'm just gonna get another complete thing of it. I think because like I got Legends two literally must have been like two thousand. I didn't buy it myself, so my childhood copy. So has a blockbuster sticker on it. Yeah. <laughs> Joel, Joel is saying that, did we hear that they canceled Lower Decks? Yeah, we yeah, did talk about we that earlier. Talking about it earlier. It's terrible. It's, I can tell you this from an insider perspective, that was a Phantom Menace, Menace is my favorite. <laughs> I like how George yeah, Lucas brought collective bargaining agreements to the Silver Actually, Screen. Actually, that's the only real answer. That's the only real answer. It's based. My brother is based. He's based in oh, a <laughs> Collective bargaining agreements. Oh. Yes! Right, item development, equip skates. Are we gonna see episode one in the theater? It's we in should. May 3rd. I'd, I'd go. It's I'm why going. is it May 3rd? Do you, so want to see the movie, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Misha, no, have a boomba! You <laughs> take him this one! Take this one! <laughs> it feels so racist to say it that. It is man. racist! I don't know what ethnicity we're, it's even fucking referencing. George Lucas, what were you? 
What were you smoking? <laughs> what the fuck was he thinking? Oh my is god. Is it racist though? Is it? Yes. Yo, take him this one. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Collective it's not bargaining. supposed to be anything. It's like Jamaican Japanese. Total Asian. What do you say? Total Asian racism, racism on the trade fetish. Oh my it's god. So totally. The Nemoidians. The, 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 the Nemoidians. Nemoidians. <laughs> They're so crazy. Oh, you remember the race? We reference that so often. It's so bad. <laughs> I just thought they were it's whatever. Crazy. I didn't think they were. I didn't associate them with anybody. It's Have you ever dealt with that Jedi Knight before? Sir? Well, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting out of hand. <laughs> no, there are two of them. No, there are two of them. Oh my God! What the this fuck is, so is that? Stupid. Also, Jar Jar is just straight up a He's Jamaican, a a Jamaican yes. caricature. Totally, it's insane. Not even trying it's to insane. hide it. So, what are you saying as you wish to say Bumblecar? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Well, yeah. what I don't understand is like, why didn't they make them something the unique? The, I like the idea of the Gungans, like, sharing the same like planet. Sharing the planet. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's kind of neat, but like, Jar Jar is just cancer. He's herpes. He's well, they basically had to, herpes. They had to redeem, Stage 9 herpes. <laughs> they had to redeem the actor. He got so much hate after that, so they redeemed him in Mandalorian. Yeah. It's too bad. It wasn't his fault. It was George Lucas's crazy idea yeah, that like these kitty voices are gonna like appeal to children. It's like no, kids want to be Han Solo. They don't want to be fucking Anakin, exactly. this little dweeb. It's aspirational viewing. You view something in your in no your kid case, wanted to be Anakin. Absolutely. Everyone wanted to be like Qui Gon or yeah. Obi Wan. To be yes. fair, I want to be 100%. Anakin. Pod racing. That was cool. well. Pod racing was sick. Pod racing was sick. Pod racing practical special effects is a analogy to Empire Strikes Back, the A Wing like attacking the walkers on Hoth. Yeah. The practical special effects. They did stop motion animation for that shit. Yeah. They the did. same for episode one in Pod Racing. They had real outcroppings of rocks. It was so incredible. Incredible. And then everything else after that was just a CGI green screen fuck, fuck fest. fest. And an abomination. Uh, we got screen. one of the best lightsaber fights we'll probably ever get. In no, in what episode three? The in boss three man. Boss? No, the, the, uh, the Darth Maul fight is sick. Darth Maul, fine, but I think the like Obi Wan is nonsense. Oh, it's come nonsense. On. check out this fight coming up. Did you remember the Jar Jar lollipop where you could suck on? Oh my god. Yes, unfortunately. Oh my god. So there's a boss fight here. Three dogs come out. Robot dogs and show an easy way to kill them all. Alright, so run forward, jet skates, dodge that one, go into this corner, look up. When it gets really dark, I'll know they're all on top of me. Wow. And that's it. Oh my god. That was weird. Nice. For some reason, when you're up against the door, they can't hit you. And so I used the explosion from this grenade item that I got. Oh, uh, that's required for the dungeon, and I kill them all really fast. That's why they call it Rock Band Dash. You can dude. get that item for his feet, like in the first dungeon of the second game, and I wanted it so bad. Mm. It helps so much with movement. The jet skates, yeah. yeah. They're essential. I was. Uh, you don't get them until, like, closer to the end of the game here. I was playing Dark Cloud recently, and there's an item that makes you walk fast through the dungeons, mm -hmm. and it's like, why wasn't this essential? In, in, the, in the beginning, yeah, yeah. it's so slow. The dungeon walking or crawling is so slow. Oh my god. Did you beat it, by the way? Yeah, I beat Dark Cloud 1. No, I beat 2. Not yet. <sighs> Alright, so we got, got this three, much better game. We got the three ID cards, so we're gonna activate the main gate. Did I remember I seeing right Dooku to fight with Dooku in the theater when it yes. came out and it won me and the crowd over. I mean... Well, it's Christopher Lee. Yeah. In, in hindsight, it's cringe, but in the moment, it was cool. Oh, yeah. I, I saw Phantom Menace in theaters in 98 as a child, and I remember everyone was it hyped was, as fuck. Okay, the, we it came it. out in 99, so... The 99, fine. early screening. <laughs> I'm just trolling. But I was eight years old. It was crazy. Everyone was losing their minds. 
episode two, I think there was even more fervor because Anakin yeah. was like growing, growing up, and everybody right. really wanted to see how that would. Well, turn everyone would want to know what he looked like. I remember getting Pod Racers Revenge on time, and then they actually I had, had a model of him. Yeah, and they were like, "Is this how Anakin's gonna look in the new movie?" The episode one hype was unmatched. Like that right. shit was wild. It had just built up for years and years. Every kid was excited. They made a ton of toys. I remember going to this department store. It wasn't a chain, a department Stop. store in our hometown. And uh, I got a Gascano figurine with the scanning. You can scan the little like chip and it would say voice lines. Do you remember those stories? I had a bunch of those figures. They were sick. They were see-through chips. Yes. You put them on the feet of the character. Yes, I had a say, bunch of I them. Know. I think it's called it's Power of the Force or something right. like that. I had a bunch of them. I got them with the, um, I actually had the Naboo Starfire, the full silver one. Yeah. I, my, my dad won Christmas, I think, but just ham. It's so cool. It was cool. I missed one. Fuck. All right, we got a big battle here. I'm going to try to focus up, so yeah, let me just... So shut the fuck up, us two. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, I messed up my... Quiet time. Conditions. I think it's this. All right. I'm going to try to get a one cycle here. So once you defeat these small ships, you got to defeat the big one. Cross my fingers. One, two, three, four. Oh. Yeah, maybe. I already messed up. Yeah, I already messed up. It's fine. It's really hard to one cycle this shit. So we're gonna have to wait for this to come back. If you fail to kill all three parts, the belly and the two wings, it's gonna like take you through like all the other sections of the ship. Yeah. So waste a bit of time. Oh well. Jewel says pretty hard uh, to get. They bought the collection at BJ's. I remember the first one was a Skiff Droid released in September the year before. Yeah, I love those toys. Those toys were so, so it was like cool. high tech of the early 2000s. Right. Like you you have microchips on fucking action figures. Like what? It's so cool. And they were good action figures. Oh yeah, no, they played the, I unfortunately played with them too much now, but. Uh, this is a cool boss. It's like a big fish kind of. Oh, Oh my god, remember all the Lego sets that were released for episode one? Mm -hmm. I had the Naboo Fighter and shit, and the little uh, aquatic thing they had with Jar Jar. I had the whole thing, it used to rotate The Bongo? Back. I think yeah. it's called the Bongo. So right. it came with like figures of like, what's up? Nah, no, it's just like, this is the last part, there's a bit more boss fights. And... Rup. Oh. Alright. One more boss fight. Right. No, yeah, just like in this game, it's just boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. The Gazelle Shaft. Now it's a Fokker Wolf. I love how the bosses in 2 like, raise the stakes by a lot. Mm. Like, you got Apocalypse. This looks great, though. Yeah. It's a shame Capcom is. Alright, it's dead. Capcom was like, oh, we don't care about the series anymore. It's sad. <clears throat> There's like a new petition to bring Legends 3 again. Because they were going to make it. Oh god. Yeah, it's like in development hell though. There's no way. Get Mega Man off the fucking moon. Um, I call a roll. You don't think so? What yeah. happened? You think everything's a little too dated? I just think there's no interest. Really? There's like a huge interest. Nah. Man, it's it's Capcom being stupid. Alright, we're in the last area. It's called the Main Gate. These mysterious ruins that no one's ever been able to like find a way inside. Barbara asked for a hype in the chat. We're, we're coming close to the end of the run. Can we get a hype? 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 Uh, I hate it. God, I hate it. If the next fight goes well, Alan has to do 10 jumping jacks. I'm not doing that. Do it. <laughs> you can't do so it. So here's my favorite part of the game. 
<laughs> so yeah, my favorite part of the game distracts everyone with jumping. We got this going on over here. I actually can't. Alright. So we're gonna fight Bruno. The bonds are back one more time with a giant robot. And it's gonna be I I did buy an energy canteen, so if I lose health and I feel like I'm gonna die, I'll just use that. Alright, pray for me. Pray. Here we go. This is a big fucker. Pray the gay away. <laughs> it doesn't work. Spoiler alert. Oh my god, bad luck. Oh, I missed a grenade. Who is this uh, mech supposed to be from? This is Bruno. That's the name of the robot. He's like an ancient mech? No, they built him. The bonds built him. Oh, the bonds pirates. Those are the latest rockets of all time. <laughs> yeah. I love how Mega Man just be able to turn this fucking giant thing. But it's not the time. Oh. Not yet, not yet. It's not the final one. Yeah, no, it's not. This is a really bad fight. Alright, one more phase. The combat roll is essential. <gasps> Whoa. That was an unknown. Oh my god, I'm alive! Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh. I thought for sure I was dead. What happened there? I got knocked in the air. Oh my god, I almost died right there. Whew. I mean, I had backup saves, but like, I really did not want to die. Holy Dude. shit. That was painful. <laughs> the bonds. Uh, oh yeah, roll. So now that I defeated Bruno, what I'm gonna do is uh, leave and then have roll taken back to the ship. Is that or, your lover? Or yeah. Your... <laughs> She's not a mother or a lover. <laughs> hey sister, let me cover your lover. Not another night, another dream, but only you. Like a vision of love that seems to be true. The fuck are you talking That's what they say! Hey sister, hey l What am I? Oh, <laughs> Look, I'm, right. I'm a little drunk. Me neither. A little? I just I activated... I told you those will knock you on your ass. How many of you had? Uh, three, I think. Are you alright? Yes, but I also have like three ciders. Ah, oh, fuck. Just activated a side quest. We're gonna stop a bank robbery. Oh, it's Bo Steve again. Yo, what up? What do you say? Man, if that missile hadn't just done zero damage for some reason. <laughs> yeah, Who's I would have been, been fucking toast, man. Toast. I can't read his name. I should be dead right now. Is his name Tamsteed? Tamsteed. We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Isn't that a Sacha Baron Cohen movie? Yeah. Yeah, it is. No relation. We're gonna do three mini dungeons and then the final boss. Remember the days where you could just find games for nothing? Oh, this was definitely under ten dollars all the time. Yeah. Like all those games. Angela, you saw Tronbon in a bargain bin for like five bucks. Yes, I did. That was like twenty years ago. Yeah. I don't know how times have changed. It's gonna go back. No. Not for those. They're too old now. Kwan, all those wool burrows will always stay expensive. Boom, a Kawanga. <laughs> you should do a Mega Man X run. Yeah, next time I want to do Mega Man X. Yeah, Mega Man X is so I will, I will run it badly. <laughs> you? We can do a Caleb Hart tribute. No! <laughs> Let's not even go there. <laughs> Wait, Too so, problematic. Yeah. Is that problematic? Oh, no. So who's the charity oh, for? Play no. Parenthood? Like, what would be? No! Oh, oh, shit. Damn. Damn. I, I'm right. exiting the chat. I'm exiting the chat. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's... He just said what we all I, wanted I gotta to say. Drink. That's amazing. That's a good one. <laughs> That was excellent. That's excellent couch commentary. Right? That is a cringe that we that's strive for. That's a cringe for. we... 
I'm drinking that cringe. Drink it up. <laughs> if you know, you know, chat. If you know, you know. Mega Man 9 next. Uh, it's pretty annoying, honestly, 9. It's not bad, though. We're just doing casual crap next. And yeah, Joel. Barbie's Horse Adventure on GBA is Barbie's, definitely on the list. Yeah, Barbie's Horse Cock Adventure. <laughs> honestly, one day we should stream uh, House of Dead Overkill. Yeah. Pretty fun for audiences to watch it. You know, ba oh, Barbie. What do I do? Barbie. Have you ever drawn a line on a Barbie? You a fortune. <laughs> no, he's a jerk. Oh, I got it in <laughs> Yeah, let's play Wheel of he's Fortune. He's such a cunt to play with. I'm good. What? Especially the Wii version. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Wait, I forgot. What do I upgrade? Range? Uh, you have the you know. I think it's energy and range twice. Yeah. Alright. This guy's, the goat. this guy's the goat right here. He knows what this fucking means. Uh, this is like reading Japanese for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like reading another language. Yeah. Oh, God. You, we're going to come in underestimate. Wow, guys. Wow, Look, guys. Let's get the donation hype going. <laughs> All right, let's read a donation. I'm going to generate one. Hey, guys. Long time viewer, third time viewer. <laughs> Long time viewer, third time viewer. It gives me great what joy. What does that mean? It gives me great joy to save to a great cause. Greetings from Animal. P.S. <laughs> Greetings from Animal. P.S. View the viewer. Donate to Germany. <laughs> we donated to Germany earlier during the Medal of Honor Rising Sun. No, no, we didn't. We donated to Japan. Okay, so oh bad. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is so bad. All right, we have one more donation if there's time. Is there time for a donation? Quick, uh, can I squeeze one in? No. Can I squeeze one in? Uh, no. All right, I got one. Right, can, can Thanks one to the runner, Angela, that's you, and those working behind the scenes. I guess that's us. Uh, that's not Alan. That's more so me. Glad to view such a worthy cause. Put this games towards viewers choice. <laughs> what the fuck? I hate this. What are you reading? I'm going home. <laughs> I'm reading a GDQ generator. There's a GDQ generator? There's a GDQ ge donation generator. I wonder if they use it themselves. It's so stupid. GDQ is fucking shit. I'm just putting that out there. It's fucking stream. dog shit. Yeah. What's up, Yellow Elevator? Oh, uh, Xavier Guzman says, yeah. What's up, Yellow Elevator? I don't know if you remember me. I saw you on a random YouTube short like last week. Yes, man. Of course I remember. Glad you're playing the game. I... Uh, I, I heart. Uh, no, wait. Well, glad you're playing the game. I met you through eight years ago. Oh, uh, that's awesome. That's this cool. guy commented on my old old Mega Man 64 videos from like a million years ago. Eight years ago. Holy shit! I love that. That's awesome. That's cool. That's Here we cool. are, man. We're in the same place as usual. I'm putting this in the chat. Less than three. Yeah. That's awesome. Honestly, like speed running. Where's the last? Where's the last guy? Oh, you fucked up my. You fucked up what I was gonna say. I'm knitting girl right Wait, now. Can what? you stop? <laughs> can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop playing the game? Um, uh, where did he go? Uh, we have. Oh my god, what are you doing there? Oh shit. Oh my god, he wandered off. <laughs> well. I well, maybe shit. you have been maybe people in the chat have noticed I've been I've been cringing this whole time. Uh, no, I, can you stop? <laughs> can you stop? No, but no, really, honestly, I have to say, like, gaming really does bring people together. Angelo and I have been brought together from yes. gaming and cringing and cringing and Alan too. Where, where am I going? Where am I going? I don't know the route. It's the best. It's the best. <clears throat> gaming brings brings the roses. Where's the door? I can't see it. What is that dark box? It's dark, dark abyss. abyss. Megment, uh, Star Wars Dark Force is right there. Where are you technically in the world now? I'm in the main gate now. So I went back. Hey. What? I forgot to move in here. Oops. Alright, now we're getting out. We're getting out. We're going to the final boss right now. So. Let's go. Get, get the get the get, get, get the donations. donations. <laughs> get those donations. Uh, uh, I hate how we were in sync with that. We're benefiting nobody. Re reminder that we're benefiting nobody. Oh, God, the hover boots make things so much easier. Excuse me. Hey, uh. <laughs> you sign up to my Patreon account. 
Guys, we only have a few minutes left to get those donations. Get this hype train going. <laughs> Not a hype train. Can we get another hype Not train, please? Hype. We need to um, donate to yeah. Angelo's OnlyFans. Oh, Everyone. We're, we're donating to PETA because we kicked that dog earlier. <laughs> we kicked the dog and we really want to make it up to this Oh, dog. and we killed those dogs in Russian attack. Oh, right? my yeah. God. We, we, we killed so many today. dogs. Oh, shit. Can we get a shout out to those dogs? <laughs> Bow wow in the chat. Can I get a Franker Z? Can, Can we get a Franker Z? Z in the chat? I hate Twitch. I'm glad we're not streaming on Twitch. <laughs> Fuck you, Twitch. <laughs> yes, YouTube homies. Benefiting the Alan Drinking Better Beers Fund. Yes, oh. thank you, Joel. Yeah. This Joel, sour beer this tastes is, like shit. It tastes this like This sour beer is out. amazing. Everyone, it tastes, more. everyone says it tastes like shit except you. It tastes like Wait, vomit. did you try it? No, it's I don't need to. You should you try it. It's unanimous. Up I need job. quiet time for the final boss, though. So. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> so let's take some donations. <laughs> yeah, so let's, so let's donation. fuck your life up with Can some donations. Can you stop? <laughs> Can we stop knitting? This is Mega Man oh, Juno. Here we go. He's a mega troll. Tell me when you're good on time. Yeah, there's two phases. Yeah, yeah he's not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, that looks so cool. If, you, if you're close enough to him, it doesn't deal, deal damage. <laughs> Oh, not like that. Your health is interesting right now. I made a backup save. That's right, fine. Yeah. That can happen. Yata. So I that was eight. unintentional, but... I'd That's like to I point out that I have actually said hype while on a GDQ couch. It is truly the ultimate cringe. Yes, King. King. King, I salute you. I salute you. Oh, stop jumping. He's I gotta hope that's true. Here. The blue bitch is taking a beating. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked. I think we're all of the, the mindset that GDQ used to be GOAT and now it is cringe. Right. It has made the unholy transition. <laughs> it's transitioned all right. <laughs> it's transitioned all right. Let's just leave it at that. This oh, is phase two. Yeah. This is phase two. Uh, try not to die. Do you want to just throw grenades at him? Tam, Steve, we're going to cancel you for your comments, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we're banning you and canceling so you. Many times now. Time, time you out. <laughs> Timing you out. <laughs> Uh, so, Tamsi, if you feel comfortable, tell us which game they were uh, speedrunning when that happened. Oh, mega attack. This still looks dope, though. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. How are you not dead, bro? <laughs> he said fair. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. Yeah. Alright. Get ready on time? Yep. This is when I talk to Roland and confirm. Really? Yeah. That's then the game is over. Yeah. I guess then you can't control anything. Yeah, right? yeah you can't control it. I miss roll. roll. Time. 55 minutes. Uh, uh, Alright, GG. Let's go. Oh, uh, you good? He's falling on the floor. <laughs> he's falling on the floor. Uh, uh, wait. Uh, 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 Do we have to resuscitate him? Uh, <laughs> oh, We're getting floor cam activated oh. here. Oh, Angela. Angela oh, shit. did all these speed runs all day. So supposedly, oh, he oh, he said God. hype in chat when it was Blue Metal's Mega Man Legends run on GDQ. Oh, nice. Yeah, he did run uh, He did run this game two years ago when it was like online. So oh, he's online? Yeah. Why was it online and a few years prior, prior he was there in person? Yeah, uh, okay. a lot of the Mega Man Legends guys were there in person. Yeah, we're actually this is online too, right here. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're not in person. We're actually green screened in. Wait, each what's of us. what's your time right now? Um, so, so we, we go, go by in game time. This is probably like forty nine. Really? You have to watch the whole credits to see the in game time at the end. It'll like tell you. Yeah. The let's final see. Time. If it's forty nine, yeah. we'll let the credits run out. If yeah. it's forty nine, you're fifteenth. It's not a PB, Alan. Oh my god, Alan. What's your... You, you need to relax yourself. <laughs> We're canceling Alan. Yeah. Oh my god. What's Can your, someone what, time him out? What's your PB in this game, then? You're getting kicked. What's your PB on this game, then? In-game time, 44-something. 
Are you serious? I'm on the leaderboard. You can check. You're not. That's why I was asking for any percent. Which one? Any percent, any difficulty. You had to choose N64, my friend. Um, I, I'm on Legends. Isn't Legend? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, 64. Uh, you're right. This uh, guy right here, he's trying his best. Dude, thanks for watching that atrocity. I love that I died during Juno. That is just chef's kiss. That's perfect. <laughs> That's how quickly you can things can go sour. Imagine after 50 minutes of playing, you reach the final boss on time, ahead of time, and you're like, wow, I might actually make things happen today. And then he just gives you a horrible pattern, and you die in two seconds. The second fight, the second form, because he's really tall, sometimes your instinct is to like jump out of the way, and if you get caught in midair, you lose all your health, and then you fall and take fall damage, and then you die. So it's a one-hit kill. Damn. So you just have to be perfect. It's disgusting. Yeah, we were there on the couch for the per in-person run in 2017, and also the online run later. Yeah. Uh, they were both really hype runs. They're yeah. good memories. Uh, I think you would probably agree that GDQ is a shell of its former self. Oh, yeah. And it's sad to watch. This was put together because Steve and I and Alan, for years, we followed GDQ, we watched runs, and we had the same thoughts every year, that these marathons fucking blow. And <laughs> it's a shell of its former self. They used to be really entertaining, and then it just became this, like, cringe fest, and... We just wanted to make homage to that. I yeah. think we did a pretty good job. Yeah. yeah. By the way, this whole layout, this overlay, everything that looks so official <laughs> was made by Steven in like two hours in Photoshop. <laughs> so shout out to Steve for yeah. helping me put that together. Well, and shout out to Angelo for doing all of the runs today. Just just MVP for yeah. going and learning all of these speed runs, practicing them. Yes. Just it was very very difficult i've I mean, never done anything like this where playing through start to finish like 10 games in a row and memorizing 10 speed run routes in a row it's it's wild it's crazy it was really really difficult you know what? i feel like the next step for us would be to invite other speed runners to participate that would to, be like, really come high. over here and then ruin it by taking a ton of donations and giving them to charity and like making it all about the uh, commerce of donations. We should do a skit to uh, like right when they right when they're gonna start their run. We'll do like a horrible skit where we like try to be really funny. And just, David asked you know. that we do another one soon. He said it was good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Tim Steed says shout outs to cringe. Shout outs to cringe. Shout outs to, to cringe. Shout outs to cringe. A great runner and a great competitor. <laughs> oh, so glad God. he was here to take part <laughs> we wish him well oh my, oh my god all the cringy gdq moments are the best we live on this we, we <laughs> survived through the memory of every runner who's ever banned from gdq <laughs> yes we do whether it was fairly banned or unfairly banned <laughs> we don't we dedicate this and donate one dollar to all the people who are banned from GDQ. <laughs> oh we should have been trading off like hats during the stream. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where was your MAGA hat? You should have just like oh put it on. Oh my god. That would have been so fucking uh, funny. Oh god. Oh my oh, lord. Well, well, congratulations, Angela. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching this insane, insane idea. I know if Barbara was here, she'd be proud of you. Rest in peace, Barbara. She probably wouldn't. Yeah, this was great. All right, you we gotta do this again. Stay tuned for the second inaugural cringe. Is this a biannual event? So we're getting. So this one might be bisexual. We could do. This is a bisexual event. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could do scringe summer. Scringe summer cringe done quick. Yeah. Summer casually retro inclusive nonprofit gaming expo. Summer of cringe. Scringe. The summer of cringe. I I can't think of a better way. I can't oh, think of it better. Uh, what games do you guys want to see for next uh, marathon? Well, yeah. Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. No. <laughs> no. The guy game. The, the guy no! game. No! Oh, you can't <laughs> legally stream that. Yeah, we can. You can, you can legally stream yeah, that. Yeah, yeah you totally can. can. No, I you will can. test that out. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, as, as, as a me, you can't legally stream that game. The guy We're going to find out if we can Or own it, technically. Game. But yeah. Yeah, Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball, The Guy Game. Uh, Leisure Suit Larry. Custer's Revenge. All <laughs> <laughs> in all seriousness, I think Meg Man X would be really hyped to learn. I love that game. Beat him and eat him. 
Joel, if you watch, if I get him, I'll try to learn Gargoyles. Get me a copy of Custer's Revenge, I'll play it. I'm he has a copy of Custer's Revenge. No, you don't. No, I don't. I have a ColecoVision with an Atari extension. An extension? <laughs> Who's waiting for that? <laughs> oh, oh, we didn't get to raffle off all our uh, amazing pottery. And oh, stuff. we have our art- artisanal pottery that we're going to harp on. It'll be for next one, next time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to announce our prizes. Oh, uh, Steve. You guys know how in every GDQ they just, like, mog the camera and they put these, like, uh, dumb... Five dollar like Amazon crafts <laughs> as like donation incentives. All right, guys, for our, our Mario sixty four run, we got this like mushroom here. It's like super cool, the Super Mario mushroom. If you donate like, five hundred dollars, you get in on the raffle, so you can oh, win this God. thing. Um, either Friday the thirteenth or Ness on Ness or last via Domus, your choice. It was a uh, someone asked for something before that. I think Tronbon. Someone asked us to stream Tronbon. Oh, uh, can you scroll you up in the interesting? show? Interesting. David asked yeah, for more cringe Netflix games. Missing? Yeah, I mean, I we'll don't have, have a copy. To, we'll have to I emulate have that. It'll have to. I have a copy. Okay, I'll play it yeah, on console. We, you have copies of. <coughs> <coughs> now is that a trick? Because I, I heard Tronbon is very difficult to speedrun. Probably. And very annoying. Probably. Every time I watch any of you guys play it, you're always a. Uh, you, know, you don't look like you're having fun. Oh, ending scene. Friday thirteenth on NES. Oh my god. You know what? I might do Lost via Donuts. That might that be really. Fun. That game that would be. That might be cancer. really fun. Cancer. Literally, we're gonna need a charity after that event. All right. The, the credit. This is a post credits cutscene. Oh, Shout yeah. out to Marvel. Oh my yeah. god. You want him to stream BFME? But I love him. Father. So they're saying like. Uh, can't this thing go any faster? Like the David boat? and I'm and I'm with him on this. Mega Man Two would be cool. I need to see. I need to start learning Mega Man. Wait, David, games. can you clarify? Do you mean Mega Man OG Two or Mega Man Legends Two? Yeah, he really means OG. OG two. He means OG Two. I want you to learn Mega Man Legends Two. You can borrow my disc. If you want. I have to play through it casually first and then learn. It. Oh, it's such a good game. So the pirates are now in like this love boat that's like going five miles an hour. And he tells Tron, can't this thing go any faster? And she's like so dejected. She's like, this is the best I could do it because he blew up all of our robots. This is the best I could scrap together. I love the ending with of 2 with her and Roll. Like, I haven't seen it. And you gotta play the game. So they managed to seal one refra refractor before everything blew up. But they're stuck in the middle of the ocean. It's very RNG heavy and kind of jank, so I was joking, but it can be sort of cringe. As long as it's cringe, it kind of meets the criteria. Honestly, though. Legends 2 is a really hard speed run. Yeah, I need to actually sit down and play through that whole game. It's so good. Do it. Do it. Alright, time is coming up. Let's see what I got. 40, it's probably like 49? 50? Probably 50. There's a death in the final boss. Right. There was some... Oh, yeah. No, this is not accurate because I had to reload that save. Uh... But you can calculate it. Like, uh, the RTA time is usually about like five minutes before. Um, so 50 minutes? Yeah, if you guys can maybe... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can calculate what my in-game time would have been. We technically can by doing a VOD and then just... So you can check my PB and you can see like the difference right. between that. Usually it's about five minutes or so or six minutes. I could be wrong. What did Steed say? Babu? Babu, that's like the character, uh, the baby Bond, the uh, big right. orange uh, thing. He just says Babu. Like, <laughs> that's his only line. That's Mega Man Legends. Mega Man. This concludes... Our speedrun marathon. Cringe 2024. Unfortunate. Or a cringe 2024. Though it might be S cringe 2024. Yeah, scringe. Scringe. Stay tuned for our next marathon in about four years. <laughs> or, uh, sure. Any final, any final words from our couch commentary? This was cringe. I have cancer now. Okay, besides that. Uh, well, thank you to thank you everyone Angelo, for watching. Angelo for speedrunning. Thank you to all, all the people viewing yep. at home. Much appreciated. Uh, Tamsi clarified it's about five minutes from IGT to RTA yeah, on N64. So it's probably like 50 something. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad.
But thank you everyone for watching. Yeah, but thank you. We really appreciate it. Anyone play N64 version? You know what? I will transition <laughs> to oh! the, PS, the PS1 version. He will be magical in his I transition. Will. I promise. Word. I'm going to download Duck Station. I'm going to be playing well, on PlayStation. Stay version. tuned for Summer Cringe, where Angelo becomes Angela. Or, or rather, he, <laughs> no. just plays, he just plays on PS1. One or the other. One or the other. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, cool. Cool. Thanks, I everyone. Have, I have nothing else to say. We appreciate the comments. Really Always tired. bring the cringe. You won't get any shit from us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye, Be guys. Well, everyone.